Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the oh, uh, Unbreakable we Sentai Podcast. Yeah, I just recorded. Eight? Episode eight? This is episode I wasn't eight. Attention. Darius remembered. It's uh, ten points. Ten points to Darius. You sure you didn't have to pull it up? Yeah. All right. Can no, I spend I mean, the points on, on <laughs> hookers? No, you can spend the points on nothing, because it's like, who's line points? Oh. Yeah. The points don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but if, can I, if, can I spend the like points Kenan's on my dick? If you get 100 points and you remember and write it down, I'll give you a gold star at the end of the semester. <laughs> 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 okay, this is episode eight. We got a fun-filled podcast this time. We got a whole lot to talk That's about. That's true. Shout out to Five-ish. Yeah, shout out to Five-ish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to talk about that? I mean, we can talk about it. I just say Google it. Yeah. You know, Google Five-ish and uh, <laughs> have a blast. Shout out to Ryan. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so before we start, we had somebody reply to one of our questions of the week. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm Darius. Yeah, I'm James. And this is Noah. Holy shit. We, uh, it's, it's been two weeks, guys. Obviously, bi-weekly podcast. Sometimes we forget how we start. Uh, <laughs> that's on me. I we mean, got a started. rough start because you didn't even tell us we were starting. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was over there looking at fucking Cole Veronica and shit. I was spacing out looking at the <laughs> ground. <Yeah. laughs> hey, man, that's how I like to start. You know, you gotta, ah, you gotta scare people when you start. <laughs> yeah. Get better reactions. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, the good old... Hero Vino Burrito, longtime listener. Hey, ages, the boy. Followed us from uh, Rain Dinners. Oh, wow. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Good old uh, Vino Burrito. Appreciate it. See, Vino said he would much rather wear that shirt to a funeral because you can pair that shirt with some sunglasses and you suddenly look like you've seen war. <laughs> 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 At a wedding, you'd stand out too much, but in the tired, depressing environment of a funeral, you'd get some uh, looks like, man, that guy's probably got it rough. When in actuality, you're the biggest pimp in the world, repping Goku and Cell at the same time on one shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best conversation starter you could possibly have on your body, next to maybe one of those ghetto SpongeBob shirts where he's got the baggy pants and the grills. <laughs> oh, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then he also said, question for the podcast, boys. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Y'all have to pick one animal that you get to anamorph Owl. into at any time. It's easy. Yeah, it's easy for you. <laughs> Getting all the benefits of becoming the animal, but so at a cost. Good. While you're human, you still have some of the urges that being that animal would bring. So, like, if you are a hawk, you feel the urge to go down on some mice and eat them. What animal do you pick and why? You guys can start. <laughs> well, I guess I Yeah, can you can start, start since I you already, already know. know. I mean, owl, obviously. What kind of owl? Shit. That's a Aren't tough they all question. the same? No. No. How dare no, you, Darius? They fucking fly, they have big eyes, and they eat mice. Come on. So an owl, Owls are cooler so than So an that. owl is a hawk. I can drop Confirmed. some owl facts. <laughs> <clears throat> did you know oh, God. that you the blackest fishing owl native to Russia and Japan's uh, call is a duet with the male playing the first and third note and the female playing the second and fourth note? And it's so quick that people thought it was one owl call. And even more interesting How would I know that? is that the species of the owls that live on the islands, uh, their call is only three notes. You, you got me. I got them. I, I didn't know that. Owl facts. They also have <laughs> uh, asymmetrical ears so that they can hear if something's above or below them. That's weird. Yeah. Owl facts. Yeah. Owl facts. Well, we you can also see their eyes from inside their uh, ear holes. Yep. Ew. That's on every owl. Yep. That's nasty. Or most. I don't want to say every. I don't, I don't. I'm not an owl fact man. I'm going to assume most of them. They're also almost completely silent when they fly because their flight feathers are combed. Yeah, it, isn't it like 0. .01 decibels or some shit yeah, that they come in it's at? It's insanely like, quiet. I never even knew that you could hear other birds fly. Yeah. If you listen closely, you, you like hear the patter. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. in anime, when like crows fly off, you hear that like pattering. Yeah. Yeah. You don't hear that for owls. Wow. So we know what animal Noah wants to turn into. Yeah, I guess. that's the easiest question for me. You just, you know, we want to eat some ice and stay up all night for some reason. <laughs> hey, that ain't that ain't any different from what he has now. Just got that uh, staying up all night syndrome, you know. Yeah, dude. Dude, my eyes like fucking under him. <laughs> They're just baggy and red, and I've been like rubbing them. Oh my god. I don't know if you knew this, Darius, but if you look at the side of Noah's head, you can actually see his eyes mm-hmm. if you look through the ear yeah. hole. That's why he wears the hat. Be honest with us, Noah. <laughs> How many hours of Valorant did you play this week? We don't try to like put people on blast immediately. <laughs> yeah, on this we podcast. still have a question to answer, <laughs> Darius. What animal would you be and why? <laughs> oh, man, 
I like a, I, I like a dog's life, dude. Yeah. A, a dog's life is they have it pretty good. The only, the only, the only bad thing is I gotta sniff people's butts. You know. Well, but you're still a human. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, but why well, become a dog go and sniff a dog's butts? Yeah, but you have the human mind. You don't have to. Yeah, but the urge. Oh yeah, you're right. He's he would. He would, as a human, be like. Would Damn. that mean that I have to spit up pellets for food that I eat? Well, you'd feel. Well, like I it. guess that only happen if I like ate bones and yeah. fur and shit. You would want to, right? You know, like you'd have like a who, but like. To be fair to me, I'm pretty good at controlling my hunger. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not as an owl. Maybe. I mean, if the urge is, if it's just the urge, then yeah, that yeah. should be fine. I mean, honestly, if it's if it's something that I can anamorph into, it's gonna be like a. Like a hawk of some sort, like a red-tailed hawk or something, or like a peregrine falcon, just because I, I love the ability to get the fuck out if I need to. You know, like, <laughs> I'm in a rough part of a neighborhood, and, like, a bunch of ninjas pop down, and they're like, give us your money, and I can just be like, bird, and they go, uh-oh, uh, uh. And then they just shoot, throw ninja stars at you at your fucking... Yeah, but I'm a bird. What are they going Have you do? seen Animorphs? It takes them a while to fucking disgustingly... Not on the TV it's show. not pretty. Shit, not on the TV show. Not... In the TV show, it does take them a while. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, and I wouldn't change my, my answer, because now that I think about it, based off my personality, I would choose a squirrel, because they... Because you like nuts in your mouth? <laughs> no, because they fucking, That'd they like... more of a chipmunk type they, 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 they like take food and hide it. Yeah. So, I would, so I would like ha- have like little chip bags hid everywhere in my house and everything. That'd be dope. <laughs> you're at James's and you just walk out. I got to get, get some chips. Yeah. <laughs> shovel. You come with back you. in with two of them in your cheeks. <laughs> two entire chip bags in well, there. The, <laughs> they, they hide a lot of food too. So yeah. like they also forget where they hide their food a lot of the time. It's true. It's hilarious. Yeah. So you know you'll be sitting on couch with Trisha one day and like reach behind in the couch and you'll be like, is this is this a, a three musketeers bar? And you're like, oh yeah, Darius hit that. So. <laughs> Uh no, but um, I guess I had to pick the coolest squirrel of all the squirrels, so a flying squirrel. Flying squirrel. That's that's fair. Uh, yeah. That'd be dope. You, are you sure you don't want to bring out your deadly premonition knowledge of the eighteen other squirrels that we had to find fucking keys for oh, God. the goddamn police department? Yeah. The fucking red dicked squirrel and the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, doesn't that game come out next month? Yeah, July, dude. Oh shit, we're gonna we're gonna play it. We're gonna record it. I forgot that was coming. Out. Probably that well, is a game. I'm hyped for it too. That's okay. that's a day one right there. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm buying it. Day one. I'm hyped. What day? Uh, July 14th, I think. It's sure. something like that. Might be like the 11th. I don't know. I think Ghost comes out the 17th of Tsushima. Yeah. Hmm. Can't wait for that. So what's your answer, James? It's a falcon or a hawk. Like basic bitch ass answer. Bitch, you took a. Bitch, you oh, took a squirrel and an owl. A squirrel's not a basic <laughs> bitch animal. Oh, yeah? How many squirrels have you seen? How many people want to turn to hawks, James? How many squirrels have you seen? Multiple. Yeah, and how many less of hawks have you seen? Significantly. I don't and know. You basic? don't know my life. You don't and know that. Basic? You don't know my life. <laughs> You don't know what I've what I've seen. You, you don't want, know what I've seen, James. You, you, Fuck you. Want, you. you want to transform into a goddamn Rattata, and I'm like, yeah, Pidgeotto, or like a Skarmory, <laughs> and you're like, ah, basic bitch. So I'm Fuck you. Basic so bitch. a hawk or a falcon? Mm. I know a few falcon facts. Probably, uh, oh, hit me up with some falcon facts. You know how falcons hunt? They die. No, I'm going to be honest with you. If you, keep, exactly. if you keep throwing out these weird bird facts, I'm going to make fun of you for being a furry. It's just, it's just I, ammo. I, it's just I, ammo for I, me to shoot. Yeah. Don't hate um, on him. I like, I like I'm not hating on him. Up. Don't hate on him. He does this research for his art. Yeah, I'm not hating on him. True. I'll just make it fun of him because it's fun. But uh, yeah, <laughs> falcons hunt by dive bombing birds from above them and then punching them in the face and with, killing them instantly with their beak. Uh, their fists. Yeah, they, they like, literally falcon punch them. <laughs> no, they have, they don't have fists. Yeah, they, they, they ball can clinch their, that shit. Oh, they they're they're like little they, yeah, they ball their talons, talons and okay. strike them. I, I like okay. the better idea that an actual human fist comes out the chest last <laughs> second and it <laughs> yeah. pops another bird. <laughs> another fact is that they have a bone in the center of their nose that restricts air flows for, for when they dive bomb, so their lungs don't explode. The same way how jet engines have a turbine in the center. To restrict airflow. Wow. Yeah. They they also have a secondary set of uh, eyelids. Oh yeah. So that when oh, they dive, sure. they can still see. It's super creepy if you look at like videos of it retracting because mm. they like look at you and it kind of looks like they're cataract, like they're blind, and then it just 
like Ew. back up and you're like Ooh. lots of animals have that kind of stuff <laughs> oh yeah dude i've been actually like looking up a bunch uh, i think it's Mothlight media or something just came on my recommended and they were talking about like evolution and stuff convergent evolution is actually pretty interesting what's convergent evolution it's um when animals evolve it's not random uh they evolve for their Habitat. environment mm. so like how like fish all kind of have the same body shape it's been like that throughout history because it's just best suited because it's streamlined and the way they move and stuff is just suited for that environment better. So what's conversion evolution? It's exactly that. So it's just evolution. So like how like sharks and seals and like whales have that streamlined body shape, that's conversion evolution. So even though they're different species, they still have kind of that same What's shape. normal evolution then? It's evolution's just the changes that happen. Conversion evolution is just the pattern of oh okay okay they, okay yeah. i get it now the pattern okay that makes sense then yeah so like crocodiles have been unchanged almost for millions of years because they're literally the perfect animal shape and everything for their environment and he also talked about how there's actually been like a mammal type of crocodile that looked almost exactly the same Weird. because it, it just hair? evolved yeah it had like a long <laughs> snout so it looked like a weird otter but it was like a long snout, the huge tail, the stubby arms, because it evolved to fit a niche in its environment. And that niche was like an ambush predator. And it evolved to be the best ambush predator. And it just so happened that the best ambush predator for like its environment was the same shape as a crocodile. Wow. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. It's so neat. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the guy's name again? Vino Burrito. Vino, uh, tell us your anamorph. Yeah. Animal. Did he not? Yeah, he didn't. Why would you do that to us? <laughs> that hurts <laughs> me, man. That hurts. Hopefully, you know, you're a little bit more creative than a fucking falcon. Yeah, whatever, chipmunk. <laughs> go get some more nuts. Did you say falcon or hulk? Uh, falcon. Look, I'll go falcon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I can punch the back of your Why'd fucking Why'd you choose falcon <laughs> instead of hulk? I don't know. I think falcons are cooler. They have a cooler mm-hmm. shape. A real, a real man which was an eagle, but you know. Oh Whatever. yeah, the most basic. Oh, it's America. Oh, now, now we're going basic bitch again, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, it's, mm-hmm. what you started it. Yeah. You basic squirrel bitch. Anyway, how many hours of Valorant have you played this week, Noah? Too much, way too much. <laughs> I play. S- oh my god, I have, I have the owl charms now. What's up? Like you know the charms you can put on your. So guns. like yeah, level six yeah. from Sova, so I leveled them up all the way from one to six. Wow. And like. A week or something. Ugh. That game's good, bro. It's so fun. It's, it's I'm having a, a blast. It's a fun game. So because Noah is an asshole and an idiot and didn't mm-hmm. hit record, there were two really good times that he dicked a team down dirty yep. to the point that he killed a dude, shouted at the top of his lungs. I could hear him outside my window. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my game! And then just <laughs> shotgun blast him in the head. <laughs> like after he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then two minutes go by, and I just hear, fuck, I'm not recording. <laughs> <laughs> that happens too often. I'm telling you, dude, you just got to hit the record button the entire time you play. I was playing solo last night. <laughs> Teammates were garbage. Yeah, I'd game. hold a point, nobody would come, and like, they'd go their point and just fucking steal team them. And I have to, like, it's like, guys, come on. <laughs> that game is very rough when you, when you like, can't communicate with yeah. your team properly. We the have worst ran- is we have randos like it's it's rough. Yeah, what's worse? <laughs> one of the worst things is like if they hard rush you and you like they're hard rushy. They're all here, come and they're still holding their angles on like the other side of the map. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like calm. And then, like I got yelled at because I said it like four times, and I'm like, well, if I say it three times and you're still not here. I clearly have to say it louder because right. you're not listening. Exactly, because it's like, I, it's like if you're just fucking dude. fucking around looking at a wall, not where they are. You're going to get yelled at. Right. Like, and I can only stall them for so long. <laughs> I have pit- There's only so long until they realize, hey, guys, there's only one dude right here. <laughs> like, I started picking up Phoenix. Oh, it's yeah? super fun. Yeah. I love how, like, his wall moves. I found, like, a few, like, good things where you just block multiple angles by swerving it around corners. Dude, I think you can also swing his blind left, then right. I think you if mean? you if you hit like right click to launch it to like the right, yeah. If you hit right click and then hit left click, you can make it an S really? shape. I've seen people do it, huh. 
And I, I, I haven't that. tried to do it, but if you can, that's a game changer. I'll definitely see if you can do that. Yeah. I haven't heard about it, but that sounds super rad. Because like, if you can give it a little bit of an extra wiggle, like just to throw someone off, beautiful. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. been main in Cypher. You guys know, but yeah. the audience doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I've been maining breach. I like uh, I like messing with people's vision and shooting through walls, mm. just so I can be like, when I on every map, if you say like they're coming a long from the other side of the map, I can hit the entire hallway and stun them all. Jesus, and give them give us enough time to get over there because they're gonna be like, I ain't rushing in, I can't see. Right. So it's like, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. I do raise. Yeah, raise yeah. is the raise. explodey girl. <clears throat> Yeah, she's uh she's dope. I'm getting used to her so, still though. <laughs> I heard AJ was yelling at you a bunch. Oh, Just AJ's to... playing. Yeah. Um, oh, your yeah, cousin. cousin. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like trying to teach me how yeah. to like play better. <laughs> so I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what you're talking about. There's other times I'm like very cautious to <laughs> to think that he knows what the fuck is because like I've been playing it for a week. Mm-hmm, uh, at that point, it was two days, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm a baby. I don't know. I'll believe everything. Yeah. <laughs> and it was one of those situations like we were playing alone, just me and him, and he will uh, he'll be like, you know, you should did it, you should do this, or like you should did that, mm. but he's dead also. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> my my favorite one was when they were going to they were going to A on like split or something and we were like Darius get over there Darius get over there and this was the time that you weren't in Noah okay. and we we're like get on the box and you're like what box and you were running <laughs> and then we're like turn right 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 and he's just looping <laughs> and then you hit X and brought out your alt and we're like why did you bring out your rocket launcher and it's like I don't know. <laughs> There is tech with rays. If you use your charge pack, like obviously it bounces you, but mm-hmm. a lot of people like doing is putting it on a corner and then bouncing through the corner so they don't have time to react to you checking that corner. Oh, if that makes so sense. like if you so know you a use person's it to coming, yeah. That's high yeah. level. That's very high level. It's not hard to do though. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like probably like a 20 minutes like, on a I've tutorial seen like map. double jumping and then like ulting people and shit and that looks ridiculous. <laughs> wow. That's the good shit, though. Yeah. No one expects it's from sick. <laughs> But yeah, so that, that game's super fun. Um, real quick, before we get into the major thing that we're going to talk about, because obviously Sony had a small event this week. Yeah. Only, um, only marginally better yeah. than Microsoft. Yeah, only a little bit better. <laughs> Dragged them out into the street and shit. <laughs> um, bang, public bang. execution. So there was a weird thing where the Mega Man Legends composer on Twitter was like, Hey guys, maybe if you collect money by crowdfunding and collect staff, how many people will agree that you we, we could get Mega Man Legends 3 launched? And everyone's like, you're the Capcom composer. Why are you talking about doing a crowdfunding? We'd all be down to crowdfund Mega Man Legends 3. Mm. But, uh, it, it's Capcom, because he's not a part of Capcom anymore. Sure. But he was the composer, and he still <laughs> works with them on projects. That is weird. So we're like, are you you trying to... You trying to say something? Shadow you, confirming uh, this? Or? Right? Like, is, does Capcom know you said this? And he's like, if this thing gets at least 10,000 retweets, I think that'd be really cool. And everyone's like, so if we get if we get 10,000 retweets, are we going to Mega Man Legends 3? Did we get 10,000? I have no idea. I haven't checked. <laughs> well. But I'm like, guys, could, uh, can we just uh, please give me Mega Man Legends 3? It's all I need, Capcom. And then you have me. I mean, Capcom, they're doing good. So you might get it. They're doing fan fucking tastic. You, you you might get it. This is Capcom's doing fucking great right now. So they're doing amazing. Yeah. What did I say last week? They could give me three Resident Evil sixes and I'd still be happy, like with what they've been doing. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Uh, little side note too, and I think this is more for me because you guys don't really play their games that much. Um, Vanillaware announced this game like years ago it's that 13 sentinels aegis rim it's like that mecha game yeah i think you showed me that yeah so it's now coming out into america on like september 8th so i'm like yes is this the one with the teenager teenagers yeah the teenage mech users because that's the only age you can be if you're a mech pilot yeah 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 Yeah. and i love vanillaware game we loved playing dragon's crown Mm. we i love uh muramasa i wish we could finish that noah 
Well, we're watching Hunter on Well, well every so time we try to play one. it, you 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 wouldn't let us play it. That's fair. So you know, yeah. did that happen? Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Probably I once. My I was fault. like, oh, I'm not feeling it today. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I built, and now I, Darius just took it and ran with it. I built up my archer. No, I always I wanted to finish it. You know, we put time into it. It's so long though. Is it? Like We're, we got to grind the shit out of it right now, don't we? Kinda, because we have to hope we get the right stage. Yeah. And get get like some item or something. Yeah. Which isn't too bad. I think we're actually really close. We're like three levels away. Well, we're also pretty underpowered mm-hmm. currently, so we yeah. do need to level a bit. But like whatever. I mean, are you drinking that weird fucking drink? Yes. How's it taste? It's like all right. The texture is weirder. Yeah, it's... What? You can drink some. Yeah, you said it's like gel, right? Yeah, it's like... Jelly. Think jello, but like kind of cut up into <clears throat> smaller pieces. Oh, really? Yeah. Weird. Yeah, Water. try some. I just want to see what color it is. Clear. It's clear? Weird. <laughs> why Why jelly? Why not? They could have just put liquid in it. Because Japan's weird, dude. It's like cottage cheese, dude. Whoa, no, it's not. It's not like cottage cheese. Not exactly <laughs> like it, read, but like the way it's like... Read it to, to the people. Yeah, the front of this says energy jelly. The ge- this jelly beverage that can quickly replenish energy, period. It is the best for life in a busy contemporary, period. Please, before it does sports. Whatever Verbatim. that fucking means. I'll, I'll, I'll put a little bit in my hand to show Darius. I don't, don't want to see this you know, weird jelly. It's just like little orbs and it's stuff. It's just like fucking jello. Ew, ew, ew. It doesn't have, I don't know, the mouthfeel. It's like weird. The shapes is very cottage cheese to me. That's fair. Um, so, Sony had a conference. Yeah. Nothing big, Fucking you know. crushed it. Didn't didn't show off anything, you know, important. Yeah. Um, Just a PS5. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, do we, I've got I a list I ironically like the PS5 design. I like the, I, I like think the, it looks rad. I'm fine with the design. Yeah, I know I a, lot of, a lot of people were hating on it, but. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> It looks like a fucking nice machine. It's, at least it's not the fucking sex bo- box. Yeah. The Xbox fucking, sex. Yeah. God Which is literally it. just a PC. Yeah. Like, yeah. at least they tried. Honestly, I think that they <clears throat> should just make a console that has Steam on it if they want to compete with Sony at this point. Because, yeah. what the fuck are they making? There's no games I want to play. There's nothing. Well, you don't want to play but, Halo Infinite? No. I don't want to play the next Gears game. And I don't want to fucking play the other shooters that they fucking have on the console. It's a multi-plat machine. There's no fucking exclusives. Don't they have Gotham, Project City Racing? Yeah, the Gotham. game that we haven't had since 360. So. Project Gotham Racing 4, I yeah. think, or yeah. 5, if we're lucky. Four is but like it has better specs than the PS5. killed it. Yeah, it's because it's a PC. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Fucking Microsoft. But this, that's the Fuck thing. Them. If I cared about graphics, that's why I have a a fucking PC. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> and, like, even if it's an exclusive, it's going to be on PC anyway. And yep. I have an amazing computer, so fuck the Xbox. Yeah, why would you want to spend $600 on something that you already have? <laughs> the only way they can make this right is by bringing back Scalebound. If they bring Scalebound back as a Xbox Sex exclusive. No PC port. No which PC I already port. Said, which I already think they said was going to be on PC anyway. Yeah, if they had made it. Yeah. Yeah. If, if that, I'd consider it. Yeah. In like six years. I don't need to play that game fucking <laughs> right now. Maybe in the next generation. Yeah. When like the sex box is like a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That'd be worth it. So I'm going to start. Luckily, it's the first thing on this list, but it's, it gets me turgid. Uh, Darius, you have no excuse anymore. We get to play Demon Souls, man. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Is that a, f- a remake or a remaster? Or it's a remaster. complete remake. Well, they were completely well, yeah, remaking yeah. it. That, yeah, that's true. Because uh, Blue Point are the people who are doing that. And Blue Point are the people who remade Shadow of the Colossus for PS4. Hold on, hold on. Shadow of Colossus, was that, that was a remake? That wasn't That wasn't an HD? No. No, they completely from the ground up remade that game for PS4. They did an amazing job. This whole time I thought it was a remaster. No. No. No, They every single thing, they completely changed it. Like, wow. all the bosses and all the, like, everything the game was is the same, but every model is re- retouched. Every hair, physics, all the... Every wow. Mm-hmm. This whole time I thought it was a remaster. Yeah. This whole okay. time. God damn. Okay. So, they're the perfect people to do this then. Yeah. Especially because Miyazaki, straight up, Miyazaki was like... I don't really like. I don't want to touch Demon Souls. If another studio wants to touch Demon Souls, 
I will let them. Did you see that they have two different like uh, modes of play? Yeah. Uh, 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 Sony fast said mode that and... <clears throat> fractured mode. Yeah. I think it said they said that that information was outdated. Oh yeah. Which is why they removed it. So it's not true. It could be in some capacity, but not in. I, they didn't really describe it, but they oh. said the information that they put out was outdated. Yeah, so I guess we do get to play Demon Souls. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I know a lot of people who are like super fans of the game weren't jazzed about it. Yeah, and some of their gripes I definitely understand, like the atmospheric fog and stuff. Yeah, it's the it, overgrown lore reason. I also agree with. Yeah, because like if you look at it, so the world is supposed to be covered in a fog. But they kind of removed the fog, mm. which is like, that's one of the things people are complaining about. Because it's like, but it's part of the story. Yeah. It's so removing that is kind of like, eh. I mean, yeah, they still got time. They oh, yeah. Put some fog yeah. in there. Um, but then they showed off a couple levels of uh, Boletarian uh, Palace or Castle, which is like level it one. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, it looks amazing. But like a lot of the pillars have like trees wrapped around them and shit. And it's like... There shouldn't be, like, that castle was being lived in literally, like, last Tuesday is when this shit started. It hasn't been, like, a hundred years, like yeah. Dark Souls 3. But, like, it's like, oh, man, last week the demon showed up. That's fucked. And it's like, yeah, it is fucked. But, like, why are the trees there? This is a real castle. It's yeah. not like an elven castle. Like, it's just dudes. Um, but I mean, that's not going to stop me from buying it. It's not going to stop me from playing it. Uh, yeah. Some stuff that I, I don't totally demon agree Souls. with is them <laughs> ragging on the demon's design. I can kind of see it because, like, the old one had a charm, but I don't know. Personally, I just think yeah. it looks better. Well, clearly because it's, like, higher po- higher resolution and stuff like that. Oh, are you talking about the flame lurker, the, the fire demon, or the dragon? The butcher demon, the one with the giant axe with the weird horns and, like, the spiky front teeth. Yeah, he's, he's like, bony, fire. right? He had bones. No, there was a fire demon and then another one. I remember the fire demon. It has those three glowing eyes. Is that the one with the scythe? It's oh, not oh, one. oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know the demon now. Yeah. That's the... I, I will say they fucked up on the design of the uh, fire guy. Did you because... play Demon Souls? No. Oh. Uh, I like in the old one, it had like these <clears throat> pillars in front of its mouth, almost like... Uh, like a muzzle almost. Yeah. And that's not in the new one. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of lame. Like, yeah, I, I like that choice. Because, like, this is what the Flame Lurker looked like. I and... think it looks slightly better. Oh, yeah, because he looks like a weird, like, he's supposed to look organic, like a melted creature. Yeah. Like, the fire isn't his. It's he is now on fire. And he's like, I still have to, like, I'm living with this. Yeah. This hearts. But the new one kind of just looks like the Balrog from Lord of the Rings a little yeah. bit. He just looks like yeah. a fire demon. Yeah. Which, like, eh, well, fine. Yeah. Well, to someone like me who hasn't played it, it looked cool. Yeah, no, I definitely still think it looks cool. <laughs> I just think that element in the old design should have been carried over. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm still going to play it. Are you going to play it, though? Maybe. The only FromSoft game I've ever completely finished is Sekiro. I thought you were playing Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I got to Osiris, and then I just... its It, it, it was just like you put a game down, and you just didn't pick it back up yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. I feel you. That's how my cousin AJ is. You know, he would, he can't, the the, uh, firm software games are way too hard for him. Sure. So I try to walk him through it. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to get so mad if he ever listens to this. I want to look up, they have a comparison shot, like, thing on Kotaku. Um, Oh, do they? Yeah. I I just saw, like, screenshots on Twitter and all that. Oh, yeah. I don't know that's this is a thing too i'll bring that up i don't know about the i mean i personally can't really say if it is or isn't but. what the little devil inside yeah. thing yeah uh, oh, what, what what's going on with little devils uh, inside? <clears throat> i guess we can talk about it now but the article says that uh the producers of that game were apologizing for a racist looking uh character design and that they were going to change it it's just like an aboriginal like face mask and stuff so it's these enemies? Yeah. And they're like, we didn't realize that like they looked racist. Yeah. Our bad. <laughs> like, the red we're lips kind of are a small a bad studio. Look. I think the mask behind it looks fine, but definitely the first one. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. 
And they basically were like, yeah, we're going to switch the mask. We're going to drop the red lips. We're going to make the dart thing look less like a joint. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they, oh, they made that a, a point. Oh, my God. Yeah, they made a big list. <laughs> I think that's a little stretching, but again, like, I can't really say. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, if if you have problems with it, then, yeah. What did y'all think of valid. Deathloop? I, when I first saw it, I didn't really listen to the dialogue that was being said, and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm in. And then James and I watched it before you came over, and I actually listened to it, and I'm like, I'm super in. It yeah. sounds rad. It, yeah, it, I'm super excited for it. It, it looks it looks very interesting. Mm-hmm. I need I need to say a little bit more, but it looks interesting. The way like the story sounded is that you're basically on like a death loop in like an amusement park, and people just come there to try and kill you. Yeah, at, for like a game. Yeah, and like you just trying to make it out of that situation sounds awesome. Plus, you have that red sniper chick chasing you. Yeah, the and then you time. might have to play as her. <laughs> yeah. Like, might you might be able to pick between the two. Plus, uh. I was telling James about this, but if they did the mechanic like this, you know that like uh, force push thing that he was doing. Yeah. If like the direction of that was mapped to like the touchpad, that'd be fucking awesome. Does the PS5 have a touchpad? The center it looks like a touchpad. At least it's carved out to look I like didn't, one. I didn't watch the thing. I just like watched the trailer, so I don't know like the specs of it. Okay, yeah. but yeah, it, he was like swiping touchpad. left and right and up, and it just looked like you could easily like map the direction that you want to swipe to that the direction spell. you uh, move on the touchpad and mm-hmm. that just sounds super fun and satisfying yeah yeah i can't see a comparison shot of the flame lurker which is kind of lame but this okay. is the demon you were talking yeah about. yeah this this one specifically because that's how it used to look <clears throat> like the old one definitely has a charm to it but oh I, shit that's I how like, it looks now yeah, yeah. wow uh, i was they telling dan fun this with it, though. yeah i was telling dan this but i'm like if they had the technology to make it i'm sure it'd probably look more like the new one than that Oh, yeah, for sure. I think they should bump up the glowy eyes a bit. Yeah. Or at least, like, force the eyes to be, like, glowing through darkness if he's in shadow. I and think it that looks would be like they might sick, do that. Dude. The weird thing, too, is this is an enemy. It might be different in this one. It's, it only shows up twice. Really? Yeah, this is the enemy in the tutorial level that kills you. Yeah, I thought uh, Dan mentioned that this was the first boss. Yeah. And it's like, if you win, you get a couple souls, and then you go to the Nexus, which is, like, the beginning of the game. And if you die... You get nothing and just go to the Nexus. Like, this is, you don't, you never go to that area again. Like, it's just an oh, intro thing. So, it's yeah, like. Yeah, I didn't even know that there was like a hub world and you had to like go to pillars and stuff until I watched that body video. Like, look at that difference, Darius. Oh, all, I, I don't know if you know this, Darius. Wow. I didn't know this until th- all this was happening, but there's actually a cut world that they couldn't finish for this game. And speculation is, is that they might actually finish that level and yeah. put it in this game. Because wow. the speculation, too, because that place was called the Land of Giants, yep. and the stone was destroyed. Yep. Dark Souls takes place in Lordran, which is the Land of Giants. So people just assumed Dark Souls mm-hmm. was that portion of the Demon Souls world. That'd because be cause they had already fallen. Like, that's why you can't go to that location in Demon Souls, is because mm-hmm. the Land of the Giants is already demon-fucked. It's destroyed. Yeah, when and I, you're just like, oh. <laughs> when I've wow. asked... I've, I think I heard that Demon Souls doesn't have anything to do with Dark Souls yeah. story wise. Correct. But I don't know. I think that would be super right way to bridge it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm super excited. Yeah. Like they, they fucking they're gonna kill it. James, can you explain the situation with the Miles Morales game to me? Yeah, it is a standalone game. Yep. They have not said if it's going to be a full game, but it is a standalone game. So it is probably like Uncharted 4's DLC. Where you play as the, the two, two girls. girls. They yeah. confirmed that it wasn't a remaster yep. put on PS5, so it does seem like it's a completely new game. Okay. okay. So it's probably going to be a forty dollar fifteen hour yeah. game. I gotta say this. When I saw Miles walking in a winter jacket in the coat, I was like, Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. It's so good. You oh, know they're shit. putting in the uh sprayed on spider suit too. Oh yeah. From the movie. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude. They have to. Sony owns it. I mean, that's true. Did anything happen in the DLC that I need to know about for this? I only played the first one, but I don't believe so. Because okay. the DLCs were Silver Sable. This isn't in order. The first one was Turf War, I believe, with Tombstone. Tombstone. And then Silver Sable, I think, was... No, the Sa- first one was Black Cat. Yeah, then the second and one was then Tombstone. Tombstone, and then Silver Sable. And Silver Sable, they, they take place during the game. 
So, like, the Tombstone one takes place during when you do his Tombstone stuff. Mm. Black Cat takes place when you do, like, in the middle of the game. Silver Sable takes place after. Exactly. Because she comes back to the city after so she So, do leaves. we know if Miles makes an appearance in any of those? I don't think he did. I don't know for sure. I don't think he, he has did. a spider suit already. I can't Dude, wait to play this game. I, oh, I literally jumped out of my chair once I realized it was Miles. Oh, like, shit. I was rolling on the ground. I was like, Fuck Does yes. Peter make the suit for him? Who makes the suit for him? I wasn't expecting a Miles game this soon. I thought for sure in the second game. I was like, but, come on. <laughs> but the th- like the last quarter of the second game is when they'll pass the torch. Not oh, just man. like I I think this will be like game one point five into two and not like two. Oh yeah, this isn't two. Uh by the way, real quick, Blue Point, the people are doing Demon Souls, yeah. they did Demon Souls. Shadow of the Colossus remake. They did the Uncharted Collection. They did the Gravity Rush remaster for ps4 do they just work for sony i guess so because like everything that's here is basically like they did the metal gear solid collection they did um the shadow of the colossus remaster on ps3 so when they did the shadow of the colossus eco collection and they did the god of war collection so like they they, they do sony pretty much exclusively but like they they know what they're fucking doing yeah (laughs) so good on them I'm excited for that mouse, dude. I was, I was, I was, I was fucking hyped. He looks, he looks good. They didn't, they're doing them right. And I, I, for, for some reason, I love superheroes in the wintertime, mm, especially yeah. Marvel superheroes. <laughs> I don't think Spider-Man, the first one had winter. No, no. it was all summer. So uh, just like, there was rain in some certain points, yeah, but it wasn't dynamic. Yeah. And like, this is clearly winter. Yeah, I'm fucking hype. I just love superheroes in the wintertime. I don't know why. Just superheroes in New York in the fucking wintertime. Yeah. Oh, There's this one comic book of Daredevil where he's like doing some shit in the winter. I fucking love it. And they like incorporate the 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 weather into like how hard his job is even more now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Dude, I, I do you think they're going to show off any other heroes? Heroes? Yeah. Do you think they're actually going to show them off? They 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 dick tease you real hard can. in the first game. Well, they they talk they talk They're about Easter them. eggs, but uh, they never show them. It's true, but I wonder if they can. Maybe because I mean like, the Avengers game is coming out. But even if they just picked Daredevil, or you know, like right. or or uh, does uh, Sony he, own he IP name drops to any other Marvel characters? I don't know. They own all Spider Man shit, yeah. but not yeah. But like, because they name drop, they name drop. Uh, uh, Daredevil, Daredevil uh, Black the Panther, Avengers, uh, Doctor, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange, yeah, Black Panther. Because uh, you go to the Wakanda embassy, that's one yep. of the things you take a picture yep, yep, of. Don't they hint at Johnny Storm? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I've looked at those collectibles. Yeah, <laughs> but, I platinum didn't weaken. Yeah, exactly. Like, but they they might after. Yeah. I don't know if it, it could be, it could like be a legal thing where they can't. Right. Same thing. But they have Sony has a good relationship with Marvel. Yeah. So they might fucking do it. And then Marvel saw how much money the fucking the first game made. Mm. Yeah. So it made a lot. Hopefully yeah. they just pump more resources into it because of that. It's true. Yeah. I mean I'm hyped for I'm hyped for this this Miles game. I, I wish it was a full game. We don't know yet. Yeah, it could be. If if they give us an equally as good story as the first one. I'm fucking for it. Yeah. They crushed and, it. And here's the question, too. Even if it's 15 hours, that's the first that's game wasn't that. Like, we yeah. all 100%ed it because we're asshole losers who are <laughs> Spider Man marks. But, like, if you just did the story, you could beat that game fast as fuck. Yeah. It's quite short. Like, yeah. hang on. Now I need to look up a how long to beat Marvel Spider Man. <laughs> like, I'd say probably like under 15 if you just did story. And like skipped all the puzzles, dude. I whatever. can't wait to use Miles' powers. Dude, yeah, like the Viper sting and shit. Hours. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah the stinger. Yeah, the uh, Vipers. I forget what they call it. Yeah, Venom the, Shock or something like that. The yeah. main story is sixteen hours. Completionist was thirty-two. So even if it's like yeah. a fifteen-hour game, that's that's it's plenty. Probably not be a fifteen-hour game. No, probably not. Probably if they give us ten hours. hours of that good of story. I'll pay sixty dollars for it. Give for me sure. any excuse to use that combat again, too. Honestly, That's and the they best showed Miles the going invisible. Shit. Yeah, they did. Yep, they did. Fuck, dude. So, do you think those are gonna like take precedence over like the spider suit powers? Probably. Mm. I would assume. I don't know how many 
of those abilities he has uh, the shocking the invisibility i think he has like some kind of mind thing that he does maybe <laughs> I, I don't remember like read minds I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I know <laughs> that they hinted that his spider sense is so powerful that he can, like, tell the future. Mm. They, like, hinted at that. But that's, like, comic book okay. bullshit. And comic I know. Book bullshit. I saw yeah, on Twitter. Deep. Who knows what happens when <laughs> comics get involved? Yeah. yeah I saw on Twitter uh, the Miles Morales comic came back, and they posted some panels for it. Dude, it's like, so oh, good. That looks so good. Wow. Like, there's, like, a kid crying on the street. Does he meet Snowflake? Oh my no. god! Please, oh, please well, don't. Well, 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 don't the... be offensive, Darius. <laughs> That's a legitimate hero. What are you talking about? I mean, you're right. You, you <laughs> are right. Snowflake and safe space. Yeah. Like those designs are such good shit posts. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> no, he he meets a little kid who's like like he's a little fashion designer. Mm-hmm. He's in middle school and he's yeah, like, he's hey, like, I've been bullied by these assholes for like making fun of my coat that I made myself. He's like, dude, that shit's fresh as hell. Like, he's like, you made how old, hell. Is he? How old is he in his version? Uh, in the comic or in the probably movie, the same the age the, as the comic. In, Similar age in the video game. Yeah, I so think he's teenager like, still. Because yeah. he Late took the teens. mantle from Spider-Man, so older. Oh. Definitely older than the animated movie. Okay. But yeah, uh, that comic ends with him being like, hey, they're not going to beat you up when they know you're a friend of Spider-Man. And he's he's like, like, they'll never fucking believe me. He's like, you afraid of heights? <laughs> he's no. like, you got a phone? <laughs> All right, I got an idea. And he swings him to school, and he's like recording him and he's like yeah if you got beef with my boy you got beef with me <laughs> nice nice <laughs> shit's so good so no- oh. we need to get that issue dude for <laughs> real like I, I was legitimately thinking of just buying all of them just dude do it i'll i'll go have these so i can read it like so resident evil 8 yeah resident evil 8 i'm excited the rumors are true mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I i felt bad because i saw that logo like three months ago so like it wasn't that much big of a surprise yeah yeah matt was like oh my god that's so genius <laughs> but <laughs> I, I like ethan i don't but i would i i, I don't the, you're happy mia gets fucking shot to shitting back that was mia yeah that was mia yeah good fuck her <laughs> okay but I, it's, it's literally the two characters I don't care the most about in the whole Resident Evil series. <laughs> <laughs> just in this, just, the, if I, the the setting looks fucking great. I'm, I'm I'm totally into this whole setting with the witches and the werewolves. Yeah, I'm down for the. I just don't like Chris, and I'm 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 okay with Ethan. I don't well, hate him or love him. Chris is gonna die. Because do you remember what the beginning of that trailer says? What his yeah, last his mission? Last, yeah, his last mission, <laughs> which I'm like, totally okay with. Oh Chris, yeah, it's time. Chris is like fucking fifty. Yeah, <laughs> and he also looks completely different than he did in seven. Yeah, they brought they <laughs> they brought the old design back. Like he's even wearing the same clothes. Dan pointed this out. He's wearing the same clothes as he did in Resident Evil Six. Really? Yeah. So it's like they hard brought it back. Hang on, I'll, I'll bring up what we were talking about with it because. Why not? So, it's uh, going to be Chris and Ethan, which is, I'm fine with. Schmeet. <laughs> I, I, I kind of wish it wasn't in first person, but it looks like it's going to be in first person again, which is which is fine. I can play first person. So, yeah, like, there's his outfit in the trailer. There he is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like the same outfit. What, what part is that? A six. Uh, at the end, right at the end, when the new squad gets him out of the Russian bar, and he's like, "Time to go to work!" Like, and they walk out. I'm gonna be honest with you, James. I played it once. And that was back in 2000. That's not true. We beat Chris's no, campaign. No, we didn't. That was Dan. <sighs> Me and you are still at T Rex with a uh, fuck. You're right. Leon. Uh, he also looks like Wesker from Umbrella Chronicles. He does. Like, dang, the new. I'm Wesker. sure that's not a a mistake either. Exactly. So it's like, is this Chris? Is this Chris? <laughs> That's, yeah, I don't know shit about Ari, but the witchcraft and the it werewolf looks good. And stuff the, sounds, I love sounds, how they were cool. how they did the werewolf. And what? like I, so people were like shit, like being like, ah, I hate the werewolf, and it's like, hey, he just kind of looks like a bow to me, you know? Like he's like, because if you freeze frame on him, he doesn't look like a werewolf as much as he looks like somebody mid transformation. Well, why do people hate the werewolf? Because it's like it's too monster movie. But we don't know. Yeah, we don't know what's. The whole point of like Resident Evil Seven, half the shit you were seeing wasn't even real. Yeah. So we really? don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I'm fine with it. Yeah, and the 
the whole witchcraft shit. I'm I'm totally in. Yeah. They're just they're just this is <laughs> I think this is probably why people were like the rumor that Resident Evil 4 was getting remade cuz this is totally more of a Resident Evil 4 vibe. Like think about those girls, right? Like yeah. the witches and think about Salazar. The little like short dude from four napoleon yeah <laughs> they're the exact same they even have their own new castle like yeah. get the fuck out of here that's just the same fucking shit i love it like i mean i'm i'm totally in. I, I did not know that was mia good fuck you mia yeah mia gets shot apparently the entire story got leaked ages ago but i don't know if that's completely true or not I, <laughs> but, I, like the story looks super interesting what why is ethan in this weird is it, i guess european yep Yep, some sort of Europe. It's not America, but Ethan's American. Mm -hmm. And you were in, like, Louisiana or something in the seventh one. Oh, yeah. And why is Chris there? Of course, it has some some B, some BSAA Well, people are thinking that there's some weird, because, like, both Mia and Ethan were infected, and they have a baby. So, like... They have a baby. Yeah, the, the, the baby that's shown off there, and she's reading, like, a kid's story, and he's like, why do you read those weird stories? And she's like, oh, it's like an old fable. Like, you don't read fables to your fucking 50-year-old husband. Was that You're Mia's voice? Kid. Uh, uh, it might be a different voice actress, but it's very clearly Mia, because mm. Ethan and her get together back, like... You save her at the end. That's the canon ending. That's not awesome. That's too bad. You're not canon. I, I picked Zoe, by the way. Because <laughs> you need to know this about Darius. Darius likes to flip flop his uh, love interests at the last second. <laughs> you gotta have one, man. Nah, dude. Darius has a bunch of different wives. No, fuck me. You should try to stab me. I hated her from from the, the the first time you meet her. She like tries to kill you. It's not she her chops fault. your fucking hand off. And it's, it's not her fault. And then the, the whole the rest of the game, he's like, I gotta save my girlfriend. Yeah. I gotta save Mia. Because it's and not then, her fault. But but check this check check this Noah. You get somebody else on, that comes on walkie talkie. It's like, I'm gonna get you through this terrible terrible experience. I'm gonna walk you through this, and you can get the the uh, serum or yeah, whatever antidote. And you can help me please because my family's fucking crazy. And I'm just stuck in this situation. Mm, this is seven, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who would you help, Noah? Probably the, the one who wants to get out. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Fuck Mia. It's all right. So if you if you get your you know body taken control of and you try to stab me, she all, all I'm trying to say, Darius, and I save you from the person, I should still shoot Darius in the face because he tried to stab me. All I'm me. trying to say is, James. <laughs> I felt like she should have fought that fucking virus harder. She, she really was. Loved if she yeah. loved me, she would have fought it harder. She literally. I, she didn't convince me. She literally walks away and tells you to leave, and then you go through the door. What did you think was going to happen? That she was completely fine? I agree. That's with your Jamie dumb is. fault. Wait, do you choose like who to save at the end of the yeah. day? Yeah. Really? So yep. either your girlfriend or some random chick? Yeah. And right. the it's Zoe who's like a family member of the Barker or Bartlett's, whatever yeah, their yeah. fucking name is. Yeah. Um but I yeah. get far, but I do know that character. Yeah. So you, you either don't save her or you can either save Mia or mm. Zoe and it doesn't really change all that much. So I'm assuming Canon is Mia. Yeah. Okay. Cause the one of the DLCs is even their red her redneck uncle punching and suplexing zombies to save Zoe. Zoe. Yeah. I didn't play that one. I still need to. I want, you I, get like power fists to like I have punch it, really. zombies. I, I, have do, it, yeah. I have it. I have the entire gold edition. I could download it today, yeah. but I just haven't felt like going back. Yeah, I, I I wanted to play the Chris Not a Hero too. Same. Yeah. Never did. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm very hyped for that for mm-hmm. RE RE8. I have no stake in RE. I probably oh, won't you buy will. it. But have I'm, you played I the first one? Nope. He hasn't played any of them. You might like the first one. I played like an hour or two of seven, whatever <laughs> James let me play. Of two. Two. Yep. Uh, the demo of three. And I think that's it. The first one's good, man. I, I told him that we should record him playing the first one, like all of us together, um, because that'll be super fun. And he's like, I just don't want to do tank controls. And I'm like, it's okay. The remake of the first game doesn't have tank yeah. controls. You can use the yeah. non-tank controls uh, if you're a little baby, man. Yeah. Baby man, baby, baby, baby man, baby man. <laughs> don't pick Buff Chris. Yeah, the, you get outfits. Don't pick the bad one. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Matt. Love you. You, you chose the wrong choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Horizon Zero Dawn uh, has a sequel. I, just, I gotta West. play the first one still. I well, you can get it on PC. <laughs> it's on PC. Yeah. Never finished the first one, and I bought it twice. <laughs> it, the, Did you the, buy it on PC? No. Uh, <laughs> I bought it. I think near release. 
and then I like kind of got I think halfway through it, and then I just stopped playing it, and then yeah, I sold it years ago, came out. years ago, and then I think like a year or two after that, it was like twenty bucks, and I'm like, no reason not to, and then I ended up selling it. <laughs> not that it's a bad game, the, the I just second I don't trial know. was good. I, I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't I think watch it. Looks it. Sick. There's dinosaurs now, like real dinosaurs, yeah, or, not fake dinosaurs, well, robotic dinosaurs. Okay, you so see, like pterodactyls and stuff. <laughs> Dude, this, you said this that goes like that's with, new. This literally goes with um. <laughs> is it not new? No, that was the literally the enemy of the first one. Dinosaur, the giant like, dinosaur like robot. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. The T Rex. <laughs> the whole plot and was the like the raptors and the like. They there's were loads. spirit dragons. Yo, what? Apparently, that's the thing. Yo, what? She was in like a cave, and there was like a spirit yeah. dragon going around yeah. her. It All look right. it looks good. I just don't understand what's going on because I never played it. Yeah, which makes fair. me want to play the first one. I always wanted to play the first one. Like, but like you said, Breath of the Wild came out and killed yeah. it. Yeah, because Horizon yeah. Zero Dawn in a non-Zelda world is a seven out of ten, yeah. but in a post-Zelda world, it's a five. Well, <laughs> well watch the video Nintendo Direct next week. Did they have to? Sh- <laughs> <laughs> and they bury it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be, it comes out like a week apart. Breath of the Wild two. Dude, <laughs> the I, you, you have to buy Breath of the Wild two. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm buying it. If if I had to choose between. Uh, yeah. Horizon 2 and Breath of the Wild 2. Breath sorry, of the Wild 2 sorry Horizon. <laughs> after again, I beat the si- <laughs> you, after I beat Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, right. It does look good. Yeah, yeah. I, think I, it was I, cool. that's, I was trying to get all cuz I had a doctor's appointment when the event was happening, so I only saw half of it. Um I wa- I was trying to get all the trailers and I totally spaced and didn't watch that one. Like I kind of feel bad cuz I watched all the other trailers except for that. <laughs> so whoops. Ghostwire Tokyo looks fucking yeah. yeah, I'm it down. Was, I was very worried last year at E3. Where I, was, I was like, oh, cinematic trailer. Yeah. That tells me nothing. Mm-hmm. But I'm seeing some gameplay and. Mm. The exercising looks super cool. Yeah, it looks super. It looks like a unique game. Yeah. And like, it's. It kind of reminds me or gives me the vibe of the new Shadow Warrior games a little bit. Like the way the movement mm-hmm. looked I don't think in I've the cutscenes. I've played any of them. They're. Their first person shooter is kind of like the new Doom ish. Okay. Um, but like, there's just there's something about the movement and how it works. Cause that one has first person like sword play mm. that just, it feels the same sort of like kind of slow, but like very quick. Like, it's, it's, it's weird, but I like it. I, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Is, it. is it me or did you get like a weird Silent Hill vibe from just the atmosphere of the game, James? I mean, a little bit because it's like a whole thing of like other worlds, but in, like, you get pulled in, but do other people get pulled in? Like, yeah. you don't know. A bunch of like scary shit. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped for it. We'll see what happens. T- I, 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 Tango game works. I liked all the games so far. Yeah, yeah, they make good things. Both Evil Within's are good games, so we're good. Oh, thank you, thank you, Boo. No problem. <laughs> How you guys feel about the new Ratchet and Clank? Looks I'm, great. I'm down. It definitely looks weird, yep. but in a good way. Already, the only negative over that I don't images like of that Lombax. And uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, is she new? Yeah, she's brand new. Okay. There have only been three Lombaxes mentioned. There was a chick in the second game that they kind of just dropped after it, and then in the newest game, canonically, uh, there was the remake. Astrid, no, like in order okay. of the story. Uh, crack in time, yeah, clank in time, crack in time. Oh, I thought it was. But dude, uh, I, I, I lost track of them. <laughs> but yeah, so I stopped many. playing after full. Uh, uh, whatever the third one was, not fully. Uh, loaded. Up your arsenal, up your arsenal. I think. I think so. Going commando, I think is the That's second two, one for sure. Yeah. Then it's up your arsenal. Yeah, because I played arena and I was like, this doesn't have a story, and then I left. Was it <laughs> Deadlock School? Were there any Russian clanks on the PS4? Yeah, the the remake. Yeah. Um, okay. So they took a they took a whole break. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. they did Spider Man mostly, yeah. I think. Which like good for them. They, they made a fucking amazing game. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wonder if Sony straight up went, "You made one of the best selling things on our system a couple of years in. What are you gonna give us?" And they go, "Can we do another Ratchet?" And they're like, "Sold." Yeah, yeah. I, I you're think, gonna do it. <laughs> I do think they have two teams though. Mm-hmm. Like one was like on Ratchet and one was on Spider Man. I think I read that in an article somewhere. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Don't quote Noah on that. Yeah, I I do think that though. So real quick, because it doesn't matter, and then we can move on to but the. But I want to say cool. my one negative with it was that the particles looked a little unreadable. Yeah. They were like too particle-y, if that makes sense. Like, like they were too sparky. Like they didn't look solid enough to like read. 
so it's like well. hard to know what weapon you yeah. were using or like when or like where the shots are coming from it just looked a little bit too hard to read to me yeah which i i agree especially when he was like throwing out the water fountain things yeah that, thro- that, that throws people awesome. i and was like what? like all the fucking like environmental stuff that like pops up i love that there are people right. running around like oh my god don't yeah bullshit. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a lot going on in yeah. that trailer mm-hmm. oh yeah it was still just showing off yeah it probably seems a lot more uh i don't know what's the word i'm looking for realistic magic not realistic but readable or like not as chaotic i guess when you're actually playing it oh watching yeah. it it yeah. looks super like you know what's going on really because i just saw him no like no like if the, you if, played it it wouldn't be as yeah, it chaotic. would make sense to you because you would know what you were looking at instead of like seeing another person know what they are wanting to look at another gripe i guess is i think the rift pulling looks a bit too slow yeah it's a bit too like rugged i guess it's not as fast or snappy i guess as i would like it because it's it's used as like a tactical dodge but yeah. clearly it looks slow enough that you wouldn't be able to use it to actually get out yeah. of a bad situation it doesn't look like a good tactical dodge in that sense yeah uh so gran turismo 7 got announced who gives a shit yeah gran turismo i feel is the only thing that sony does worse because forza has just been yeah. outstripping every racing game since forza 4 on the 360 like, i do think like i don't know how common this is in a racing game my favorite racing game is dub edition remix and that was yeah, on Midnight ps2 Club. exactly god damn right so like i can't speak on like the simulating racing games but like yeah. all the customization for the interior and stuff that they showed off look pretty red see because i'm i'm a loser too though where like gran turismo was fun for my brother and i back mm-hmm. on ps2 because like we kind of like the gearhead aspect of like okay yeah. you need to mess with your gear ratios and you need to mess with this but mainly that was because i played armored core where you can mess with your weight ratios sure. and like okay you don't want to like put too many weapons on your right or you'll tip over mid-fight like it, you know so i'm there's uh, a guy smoking a cigar while walking his dog out there what a I, I just wanted to mention that <laughs> Uh, so this game has a stupid name, but I'm super excited for it. Returnal. Yeah. The the one where like the the astronaut lady, it's like she keeps dying it's like over. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So dumb name. Hate yeah, the name. It, the name's pretty fucking bad. But that that looks fun. It looks yeah. interesting. I need to see more. It's because mm. it's a big budget roguelike. Is like what I got oh, from it. Yeah. You know, because it's like every time you die. Triple A roguelike sounds interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Because uh, there was one before, um, Prey had the moon-based did DLC. Prey did? Yeah, mm, the new one. I'm assuming. Yeah, the new okay. one. It had a DLC where it was roguelike, where it was like you go in, you get certain things. If you lose, restart. Oh, I think keep I going in. Did I think I remember seeing a watching a review and then mentioning that. Yeah, it was super good. Like good, good job on that, and good job the team who made Prey because that game's fucking amazing, and not enough people played it. Is, yeah. it, is it really good? It's amazing. I was kind of upset. Did, what did you play it? I played the original. Oh, so you wanted a Native American man? <laughs> no, I wanted I wanted a real sequel. I, I mean, I agree. <laughs> dude, I did play the original shit. Yeah, dude, the, dude, I, you can't buy it on P, on any PC anymore. Really? Yeah, huh. it's not on Steam. They took it I off like it five, six years ago. Man. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. I, I played it at a time where it was so old, nobody was playing online. Yeah, I tried looking for a match. <laughs> they nothing. said no. Yeah, <laughs> the screen pushed you over and called you a nerd. No, I loved the original Prey, but this Prey, it holds up. And, like, all the abilities you can anything, get. Does it have anything to do with the original? No. Is there three Preys? I feel like there was one after well, the 360. I think there's, the new one? there was two there's, failed Preys. Yeah, there were two <laughs> failed Preys. <laughs> okay. And there was also one Prey before that 360 Prey. It was, okay. like, like a Turok-style, like, old sure. Prey. Turok was so fun. Oh, fuck yeah. I remember just putting in cheats and throwing, like, black holes at people yep. and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> loved it. Any multiplayer game that gives you NPCs in the like multiplayer matches is a god in my boat. Because mm. the Raptors would show up and like you could if you drop down, Raptors would come after you and it's like, oh fuck, now he's shooting at me, but I gotta kill his Raptor so I can get <laughs> back. Oh fuck, and uh, yeah, so that's good. Um, but no, yeah, uh, it pr- play Prey if you ever feel like it. I have it on Steam, so you have my copy of Prey. Oh, then I have it then. Yeah, if you ever feel like playing it. It's it's stupid how much fun you have because like you'll walk into a room and you'll have like a wrench right because like that's your melee weapon mm-hmm. and like you'll look over and you're like okay cool and then you leave and you come back and like the room's ransacked and like you kind of look around and you're like oh 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 because like the small ones can transform into items so you're like 
that's a second chair. That chair wasn't here before. And you hit that and it transforms back into an alien and like what? fucking scuttles away. Oh, wow. And then you get a power that lets you transform into any other object. That's sick. So like, let's say a door's locked, but there's like a, like a bank teller window. You can like look around and like pick up a coffee cup and put the coffee cup on the thing turn into a coffee cup, roll your dumb ass through the like thing, become a human again and unlock the door from the inside. Wow. And it, it's so fun and no one played it. <laughs> like it and the story's good too. Like story's amazing. It's just, uh, play it. <laughs> I'll, I'll play it. I'll keep my eye out though. For sure. Um, Square Enix showed off a new project. Uh, it looked good. Project Athia or Athia. We'll probably never get it. it. It looked good. Yeah. It looks nice. And I, you know, I, I appreciate it. I, I don't know if it's like a, a Square Enix is developing it or if they're just publishing it, though. Because they publish a lot. It could go either way. You're super... Yeah. Well, they, no, they, they said it's on the Luminous engine, which is their engine. So I don't think they'd give another company their engine, but I don't know. It, I mean, you it, know? all she did was run. So the running looked fun. <laughs> And that's all you really need, you know? Yeah. Hell, Mirror's Edge made an entire game based on the running is fun. <laughs> True. Uh, Hitman 3 is coming out. I never played the last two, even though they look super fun. Yeah. I will content. I will be content watching people perfect the stages and then just go, oh, yeah, that was a cool way to kill that person. Yeah. <laughs> you know? like <laughs> My favorites are always the thrown shitty items that just kill people. Yeah, like, like chucking in a the, briefcase, the briefcase and it just <laughs> tracks them. It's hilarious. Good physics. Uh, GTA 5 is coming out on the PS5. Ooh. Oh yeah. my god! Like that's it, I really hope this doesn't become Rockstar's thing. Like they're the next fucking Bethesda, where like everything gets GTA 5. Just like G- everything it's, gets. It's purely Skyrim. because of GTA. O. Yeah, like, absolutely. They need it makes that money. too much money. Hundred. That's why they were like everybody gets GTA Online yep. free with like a million bucks a month until it drops. Yup. Wow. So it's like yeah, yeah they it's he, you know was right. It's too lucrative. Yeah. Of course they would put it on PS5. I, it, I think it's literally the most lucrative online game or oh, something yeah. like that, which is insane considering it didn't come out too long ago. Yeah. This is like six years ago. Yeah. Maybe. 13 or 14 or something like that, I think. Yeah. I think it meant years ago and I'm like. No. 20, 2013, <laughs> 14. Uh, Little Big Planet's getting a new 3D platformer. I'm down. Sackboy, he, yeah. he came back. He came back, surprisingly. I'm not going to buy it, but I will gladly play it yeah. with you, Noah. Okay. Like, because sure. I've never beaten a Little Big Planet because I just Dude, lose I interest. Them. I just lose interest. Like, I, I don't know what it is about them, but I've I've bought and played one, two, and three, and the Vita one, and I've never finished a single one just because I'm Dude. like, eh. I, <laughs> I love I them. They're just super fun co op games. I look up whatever. That might be my problem. I played it solo. Oh, that's um, definitely your problem. But, uh, I always, you know, I was like looked up and I'm like, ah, oh, where's the dick level? Oh, right there. Okay, cool. I got my money. <laughs> you know, there. I think in the second or third game, there was this hella fun mini game that you could play where you had like rocket helmets, and the whole goal was to shoot each other with rockets and blow each other up. Wow. It was so fun. Is there, is is there? Can you make levels in this one? Yep. Or, yeah. Right. Okay. I'm assuming. Like that's that the, was whole the little whole big thing. planet shtick. Yeah. The mm. I will say the only thing I really enjoyed about Little Big Planet when I did play a co-op was that the sticks moved your arms. Yep. And that if you went yep, if you went all the way to the right and then went to the left really quickly, he would actually hit whoever's next to him and would knock them the fuck <laughs> on the ground. So you could just be like, woo, whap, <laughs> fucking done. And then grabbing people and yeah. like throwing them off ledges and so stuff. Like, if somebody tried to make so a jump, good. you could like grab onto them real quick so all their momentum would go away <laughs> and they just fall into the pit. And you're like, ah, fucker. <laughs> like, that's what you get. Uh, you could play as Sephiroth and Cloud. Yeah. Bad outfits. Wow. I'll show they you them. Like they all are all Sony stupid. IPs and stuff like that. <laughs> oh uh, man. So yeah, Little Big Plan is just super fun co op. Creating levels in three D uh will be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I want to see how they do that. Clearly there's still like were they not lanes, 3D? I guess for no, like a better they, word. They were two D levels, but With, there were four or yeah. five levels. I don't think like, it was that many. I think it was like three or three, four. Three or four, okay. But like you could like like kind of like how yeah, Oni Mucha like Blade Warriors was. Oh, yeah. So okay. you could jump up into the background mm. or the foreground. Okay. Yeah. Or if you wanted to, you could make a level only on one or only on two. Okay. Like you didn't have to. But now it's like completely three D Mario, like yeah. the new ones. Although it obviously looks like there's still, like, four lanes. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
Honestly, that's probably just to help in creation of levels. Did you guys, uh, what do you guys think of that Capcom? Oh. <laughs> I mean, Capcom's a company. No, no, um, <laughs> I'm talking about the, the new game. Yeah. You, you, you distract me when you, like, throw something up. Goddamn right, that's the point. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find the name of it right now, because for some reason... They start with P. Pro- Pragmata. Pragmata? Pragmata. I love the look of it. Yeah. I'm super down. Really- but it's definitely Death Stranding levels of what the fuck is going on. Oh yeah, yeah I, I, I thought it, I thought like I was like, is Kojima making something new already? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they're like, they're in a maybe digital world inside the moon, and then they break mm-hmm. out of inside the moon, yeah, and so then they're like the, the Earth. <laughs> yeah, and the girl doesn't have to breathe in space. Yeah, well, it, well, she looks like a robot, I guess. Yeah, because if you zoom in on her, her eyes, eyes yeah. she has the weird like circuitry shit, and it's like and okay, then there's Ghost Cat. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking okay. It looks cool. You, I get, I get like hologram cat yeah. vibes. Well, I mean, there was a skeleton under it. That's true. Which is w- weird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Odd World gets a new game. I've never played the other Odd World games. So I, I haven't don't either. Know. I didn't I, see that. Odd World's getting a new game. Yeah, Odd World Soulstorm. Yeah, it's a remaster remake of oh, the okay. second so it's not game or something. And, so and a Lorne, it's, Lorne Lanning introduced it himself. So like the dude who makes it is like a new one, and it's like oh cool. Is it a remake or a new one? I don't know. I, 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 I it, it might be in Noah the said. same vein of like Demon Souls. I think. I think that's what I read on Kotaku. New. Mm. Yeah. Do people care about Odd World anymore? No. It's like niche following. I think. Yeah. So it's like, like cult following. That like tier the, of game. Yeah. The only one I played like with any sort of Stranger's anything. Wrath? Stranger's Wrath. Yeah. That game was hype as shit. God, you guys suck. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying not to not get these cables knocked out. Here you go. Thank you. That was our high five. That definitely wasn't Noah's clap. I didn't expect the high five, so I'm like, ah. Um, Bug Snacks looks cool for like a neat little $20 yeah. or something, you know, probably 30 but even then. Because um, I love the Octo games. 30 is out of my price range for that. No, that's fair. I just mean it's probably going to be yeah. 30 Like, If I, it I is 30 I probably won't pick it up. Totally fair. Yeah. Um, but then, so, Destruction All-Stars looked surprisingly Dude, cool. at first I was completely out. I'm like, great, another fucking Overwatch. Yeah, and or, or another Battle cars, Royale. And I'm like, let's go. All right. Well, because when they jumped in the cars, I was still out too. Because I was like, oh, great. For some reason, people want to get the Rocket League players onto sure. a new game. Like, okay. What's it, the Luchador who sold you? Dude, absolutely. Yeah. Fucking I Luchadors are my jam. <laughs> Dude, and then, like, they the were running ending... out of the cars and, like. Yeah. I like it. At the ending when, like, the blade came out of the car and she just rammed through somebody. Yep. That looks sick. I was, I'm really hoping that there's, like, a revengeance mechanic in it to where if you hit it in any specific way, the car will blow up like that. Yeah. That'd be sick. Um, uh, Stray looks super neat. That's the one where you are a cat in a robot okay, world. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's cool. I, I'll play it's it. It's unique. It's yeah. new. Dumb. Like, I'll, I'll put see, money towards I'd, something I haven't yeah, played before. I definitely want to see more. Um, I didn't see this because I left, but Goodbye, Goodbye Volcano High is the, like, high school coming-of-age story with, like, the dinosaurs. Yeah. I, I don't what? know anything about it. I didn't it. see this. It looks like a dating sim yeah, type like a, game. Oh, Visual okay. novel type okay, game. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I also didn't see Jet the Far Shore. Are these, like, indie games? Not all some? of them. Because, like, uh, in this weird list of other trailers shown on Kotaku is Pragmata, which is a fucking Capcom game. I don't know why that wouldn't have gotten a full piece, but whatever. Um solar ash i'm ex- super excited yeah, for looks dope because solar ash is by the same people who did hyperlight drifter so oh, it's heart machine really is it yeah so this is heart machine's mm. next game and i love drifter was drifter 3d or pixel pixel okay yeah. i thought so yeah it was top down pixel game but this I, one it is definitely 3D, looks so. like i thought it was made by the people who did a uh, journey mm. yeah, yeah. I it, can it's see that. just the style reminded me of it uh, Astro's Playroom, I didn't see, but apparently that's going to be preloaded onto every PS5 because I guess right. game companies realize that having a game that people can play when they spend $600 on your console is a nice thing to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the Wii did ages ago, yeah. and the Wii U did, and yeah, it's fine. It's good. Um, Little Devil Inside. Oof. Yeah. This fucking game. Yeah. Oh, my God. So no, Noah and I... 
saw this game six years ago, yep. five years ago, while we were both still in college, and we were both like, yo, take a look at this shit. Yeah. And we saw it, we're like, yo, I can't wait for this to come out. <laughs> Year goes by, two Nothing. years go by, three years go by, and it's just like that routine then, game where it's yep. obviously vaporware, it's never coming out. <laughs> like, somebody then, put together an animation, basically. The god hand Sony's like, here it is. Yep. <laughs> here it is. They handed the company a fucking behelot and was like, make your wish. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice who you want it looks super <laughs> fucking interesting it's, it's very charming too I'm i like the art it. style i'm loving it darius's uh exact quote which i really really liked was uh where is it there's something about this game that makes me really want to play it which is a big thing for darius to say because this motherfucker hates crab battle wow. yeah i'm not really a big indie game guy this motherfucker. Uh, so, like, any games are where it's at right now. It's I mean, I think Sony looks like they're trying to dip into that with the variety of gameplay styles Absolutely. that they're dropping. Because this this is what I was hoping the PS4 would be. Mm. The PS5 looks like it's going to be the PS2 2. Yeah. Where like, it's going to be like, you want to make a weird fucking game? Throw it on our shit. You know, yeah. here's Mr. Mosquito 2. And I'm so <laughs> You know, here's Guitar Man 2. Fucking please give us games, you know? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Rap like... Rabbit comes out on the PS5. I don't like, know if I know that. Uh, Rap Rabbit was a Kickstarter game that didn't succeed, which sucked, because it was the Guitar Man dude and oh, the Parappa shit. dude. Oh, damn. To came together to make a... It's like a Edo period Tokyo game where you play as a rapping rabbit. And it would be a rhythm game where you have to choose your rhymes to beat the enemies. Oh, that's And you have to outrhyme your foe. And it's like, yo, that would actually probably you showed be me this. I remember good. you showed me this. Yeah. That sounds sick. And I'll, I'll show it to you too, Noah, because it's... No. Oh. It yeah. failed its Kickstarter and oh, nothing has happened. Mm-hmm. I thought this was like under the radar gem classic from yeah. the era. No, thank... <sighs> that sucks, though. It, it hurts. That sounds rad. Like... Oops. The t- the two like PlayStation One PS Two music guys are like we want to make another weird game. Are you guys in? And not enough people said yes. Hurts me. Very right niche. Here. Very niche. Very niche. <laughs> Very niche. I would not begrudge somebody for not giving it money, but I'm still sad it didn't get the money. Did they give any like information on PS Five? Like how like how many like gigabytes the hard drive is gonna be? And... Uh, it's like eight hundred and ninety. They said before, so it's like a terabyte hard drive. Okay, which isn't enough. It just isn't. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Like, one terabyte is not going to be enough. Uh, for the PS5. I mean, yeah. how expensive? But this thing's going to be so expensive they already. Have, they I have mean, talked right. about that. I've mentioned this, but uh, to James. But they talked about how they wanted to make sure that uh, it's modular and you can just take out and remove the SSDs and stuff. They also said that the way they designed their SSD is, like, so super specific that I think the, like ones that you can use to get like that much power out of it is actually pretty scarce but they i think they're gonna like upgrade how much terabytes you can actually put into it because the market's just not right there yet yeah but that's good though. Yeah. i i i hope what they mean by that is that they will put out a product later and there is a yeah. second empty drive on the back of the ps5 so that at some point you can just buy another two terabytes and put it in the empty slot mm-hmm. because that's what it's designed for, you know? Cause like the PS2 has the, like there's spots on the PS2 and the GameCube that they were planning on. Like at the bottom of the GameCube has three different ports Yeah, because they were like, one of these is going to be for a modem. One of these is going to be for the Game Boy player. One of these is going to be, and they just, they knew what they were going to do with it, but right. they were like, let's keep it on the download just in case it doesn't fucking work. So, like, I hope that's what they do. Because I would hate to be like, okay, cool. Now you have to transfer everything over to this new hard drive. You have to do it online. Oops, it failed. <laughs> Great. Yep. Everything's corrupt. Because that would happen to people on the PS4. Uh, PS4. Wow. I had to fucking, at GameStop, I had to talk people through it. And they'd be like, uh-oh. And I'm like, click. <laughs> like, if I hear, uh-oh, I, that's not my fault. I'm out. <laughs> like, goodbye. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Sony fucking dragging out Microsoft and just, just stomping them into the dirt. I wonder how much the diff- price difference is going to be from the, the one with the CD drive and the mm-hmm. one without the CD drive. Yeah. I think I, Dan mentioned the Xbox this generation was only like a $50 difference. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm very curious what the price is gonna be gonna be because they didn't mention the price, nope. which may, kind of makes me scared. It's gonna be six hundred dollars. Honestly, I, f- I can feel it. I think any price, no, not any price, <laughs> but fifteen hundred dollars. No, if they wanted Christ. like a bit more, I think they've earned it. Mm-hmm. But Dan and I and you, I think, were also talking about like, what if the uh, no disc drive one, mm. the like, to kind of factor in the fact that you'd be losing that disc drive they put a better hard drive into too yeah. like what if it's like a two terabyte in that particular model and it's like okay then you know maybe you'd pick up like they're the same price right. but that one has more space they would yeah. have to in my opinion yeah. if they're doing completely discless if it's the same like then there's games, no fucking though. reason oh yeah i'm getting the disc version yeah same hands down I, I don't think they could do something to make me buy the uh no disk drive version. Mm-hmm. Not that it's like Dude, inferior product, but it's just not for me. If it's if it's six hundred dollars, how are people gonna be af- able to afford that? This year they won't. Like yeah. I remember, it'll be tough when the PS2 was three hundred dollars, and it was like that seemed like impossible to get my mom to buy. Yeah, like k- kids are not gonna be able to, like be able to get a fucking PS5, dude. No, I mean we're adults. I mean, yeah, yep. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend five hundred dollars on a PS Five. Yeah, yeah, but normal children, you know, they're gonna be hope. Hope they've been keeping their allowances. Right. Yeah, they've been good boys for of, Santa. Goddamn right. That's a lot of fucking money, dude. Dude, that's that's when you do things. That's when you hope you have a sibling and you do what me and my brother did, which was, hey, Christmas, that's coming out. We went to every single one of our family members and went, get neither of us presents. Just get us that. Yeah. Pull Every it family member, just get us the console. Like, <laughs> which is completely fair alternative, right? Pay fifty bucks for a gift or like pitching for twenty. Yep. Easy, uh, easy peasy. Just please. And then they fucked it up. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. Have Every I never time. talked about this? No memory no. card. No. No console. They got, <laughs> us, they got us Code Veronica and an extra controller, and no one got us the console. So we just looked at it and they're like, oh God. And we're like, eh, yeah. expected. <laughs> we can't be that mad. How long did it take before you actually got the PS2? Oh, like three more months. Oh. Damn. We borrowed, we, three, we rented. Three months isn't bad. No, we rented at like Family Video or Best Buy a PS2. Oh. And it killed us because we didn't get a memory card and we rented oh. Final Fantasy X. And we got like Damn. 15 hours in because we're like, Hey, if we can scrounge our money, we've got this for two weeks. If we can scrounge our money, we might be able to get a memory card. We'll keep the game on all two weeks. It'll be fine. You know, like yeah. we'll play. And as long as we don't turn it off, we did can you, throw a memory you, card in. Did you fucking make it to the Blitzball match? Like the the, the, the real Blitzball match? Yes. Oh, shit. Yes, that's, we did. That's far in, man. We got, <laughs> we got through the first dungeon. Like, where you get your first Aeon, and we're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we need a memory card, we need a memory card, we didn't get one, we had to turn it off and take it back, oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> but hey, that's life. That's showbiz, baby. Wow. <laughs> Are y'all gonna get it at launch? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. They've, they've fucking earned it. They're gonna crush it still. Like, they've given me no reason not to buy this. I don't know. I, I, Spider-Man I, comes out the same day. Yep. Spider-Man's launch, uh, Demon Souls, I believe, is launch. Yep. They they got me. Yeah. Demon Souls got me into a PS3. <laughs> oh, Demon Souls is launch. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So you're getting it. We're playing it. I don't, I'm, it's still not enough. I need I need something else for me to justify. You need something more it. than Demon Souls and Spider-Man. I thought it's you were not a, a fan of Spider-Man. Man. That's the thing. We it's don't not, know. We don't know. It's not gonna be. You don't know that. It's, not it's been be. two years. Every asset is made. It's not gonna. All be. the fighting is made. Like mm. this is this is. I I feel like this is the modern day version of Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time because they made Ocarina, Majora's Mask in like six months. Oh, yeah. And was... that's why everything's the same. It's because they were just like, we have six months. Just make it. Take take the character models. Give them a new name. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> you mm. know, like there are maybe ten new enemies in that entire game. But they killed it. And all of New York is fucking made. I mean... You know? I don't need to go to, like, Staten Island mm. or whatever. Like, I don't need to go to mainland New York. Just keep the island. I don't give a shit. Just let me swing. I'll swing. I still... I need I need something more before I can go full in. That's fair. So... I mean, if RE8 was a launch title, too, then I would be full in. Yeah. But that might be on PC. It's definitely going to be on PC. Yeah. So, yeah. Probably multiplayer. 
I, I don't know oh, if it, they it, said it was exclusive or not. Well, actually, that's a good question, because the original Demon Souls was only PS3. That one might have been paid for by Sony. <laughs> mm. But um, also, um, maybe I, I probably would need a Final Fantasy remake part two also for me to like guarantee you buy it. Yeah. Oh, that's not happening. Yeah. I mean, uh, it happened in five years. If you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's probably still writing the story because he doesn't know what the fuck to do. Dude, I think they said like two months ago that they're still in the planning per- play, like planning phase of part two. Yeah. So I'm not. I would, I'm not surprised. No. I'm not no. fucking surprised. No. Nope. But we'll see what Final Fantasy 16 looks like. I'm excited for that. No, you mean Project Athia? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. Kenna. Yeah, or I was Kena. gonna bring that up. That's uh, that looks uh, right. Bridge of Spirits. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that super one looks good. Looks, it just looks like a PS2 era style gameplay type yep. stuff, and like yeah, platformer with puzzles. It. Yeah, I, I I made the reference that it looks like a PS5 Tokobots. Yeah, and I I said that as a joke, but then I was like, no, hold up, this is kind <laughs> of a PS5 yeah, Tokobots. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sony's still killing it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think they, they are. Continue Last to of kill us two it. next week, baby. Ooh. Let's do this. Can't wait for that. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I yeah. hope you. I hope you like it. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. I probably won't get it. I actually watched it play through the first game, so I guess I could play it. But yeah. I don't know. Uh, not I for watched, any particular uh, reason. Do you? Do any of you know if GameStop is open? Yeah, I think they. Yeah, are. Yeah, they have to be. Disc replays are open, so GameStop wouldn't say no to money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're scrounging for it. Right <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go pre order that thing because I don't want Amazon to yeah. take me over. But yeah. Did you check for pre orders on the PS5? Uh, I didn't see anything online, so okay. I, I just didn't okay. go. I, I told Noah, I was like, Noah, if they, I'm gonna like call GameStop. If they're doing pre orders for the console, I'm gonna ask them if I can do a second pre order under like a different phone number, so I can be like, get two pre orders going. Be like, hey, boom, boom. Just so we got them. Would you Would you allow that if you were gonna? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, pre-orders kind of your bread and butter. Anyway. Goddamn right. They if somebody was no. like, "I can give you two, You're gonna be like, "Yeah, fuck it." Yeah, <laughs> even yeah, if it was like technically you can't do that. Yep. I don't think they'd say fucking no. Yeah, because I'd be like, "Yeah, my friend has a power up rewards thing. Yeah, yeah. he's just not here. Can I put fifty on his?" Right. And they'd be like, mm, "Sure." Yeah. So straight up, if you don't get enough pre-orders, you get flogged at the end of the night. Like they just fucking <laughs> beat you in the back room. Take wow. your shirt off. Yep. Fucking nine Dude, Does console yeah, pre-orders like, count as pre-orders? Oh, yeah. Okay. And every ne- mm-hmm. like every pre-order that's taken away is negatively affected you. So does you get the negatives. price of pre-order count, or is it just pre-ordered pre-order? What do you so mean? So, like, console's 50 bucks, game's 5 Yeah. If you do, like, a, I don't know, just does the price of that pre-order matter or not? No. Okay. It's just the numbers of pre-orders? Correct. Okay. So, if somebody, if somebody pre-ordered 10 $5 games... Or one console at fifty dollars. The tens. The better. tens better than mm-hmm. the five. So. Get that inside GameStop knowledge right now. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Fuck GameStop. I guess that's still technically the same price. Exactly. Six hundred, six hundred. I hate. Yeah. I hate yeah. that. I hate GameStop. Weird. I keep coming back. Yeah, it's just like Amazon. <laughs> dude. You kind of have to. <laughs> They're like the only specialty game store, at least in America. Exactly. I just big keep one. coming yeah. back. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it's him an so much. Relationship, dude. <laughs> I go in there at least five times a year because yep. I fucking have to. I don't want to re- pre-order <laughs> fucking Madden. Stop asking me. And that's institutional racism. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to tell you right now, Darius. Noah and I don't get asked to pre-order Madden. Really? They ask us to pre-order Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> they ask us to pre-order Persona. <laughs> <laughs> they know. <laughs> MB- NBA 2K, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you need to just start walking in with the most weeb shirts. Hmm. Like, I, he- I go... Yeah, James will, let- <laughs> like- James will let you borrow the selling Goku shirt. Yeah. And I'll let you borrow a pair of glasses. Oh, God. So that you'd go in and they'd be like, oh, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's no new Kingdom Hearts plan. We don't have anything in pre-order. Yeah. <laughs> no, then you give them the switch, take the glasses off. I'm here for Madden. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. Profiling me, son? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you with him? <laughs> God, that kid. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that I little kid. I love that kid, dude. 
<laughs> so cool. He gave you the third degree when you started yeah. to chuckle, man. That dude was straight checking me to see if I was a real gamer. Yep. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you play? Games, man. I just want uh, pre-order shit. Yeah, spaghetti out of my pocket. Yeah, right. Getting bullied by him. And like, I wanted to look and be like, can you get your son to the other side of you? <laughs> like, he's talking, he's literally talking to strangers right now and you're cool. Like, do you want me to grab him? I won't, but like, I can tell you don't really care. <laughs> oh, man. God, I just want Demon's Souls so bad. I mean. I want it now. November, dude, I'm so excited. It has, it has like eight of my favorite weapons of any Souls game. Yeah, like straight up, the Moonlight Greatsword in that game is super dope because it's like mm. it, it's one of the ones that does true magic damage. So all damage goes right through armor. Period. Jesus. So like it doesn't matter if you're wearing the heaviest armor in the game. If you get hit by that, you're getting true like 300 damage every hit with that fucking thing. Wow. Um, they've got a sword called Blind, which is the same thing, but it looks like almost like a dragonfly wing. Oh my god, mm. that just sound rude. Yeah, the patches <laughs> is in that game, untrusty patches. Who's like, hey man, you want to go over there and grab that? I would do it, but like you look more tough. Go grab that treasure. Oh, so he starts off in there. he starts off in Demon Souls. Wow, and like he shows up twice, and both times he's a fuck. <laughs> like the first time, you look over and you know it's a trap. Is he in three? Yeah. I don't remember him. Through. Yeah, he's in three. Did we crawl? Did we... He's in three twice because he's in the DLC as a different character. And if you follow his oh, storyline, yeah, he the remembers DLC. who I he remember. is. Yeah. Um, good old trusty patches. He's in Bloodborne too. Yeah, the spider. The spider. Um, but no, the because the, you do it in uh, Stonefang Tem- uh, Tunnel, which is like the second area, and you're on this weird like lava mountain cliff, and you're going on these wooden platforms that suck. And he's like, yeah, go over there and grab that treasure. And you look over, and there's a big, like, grub demon halfway off of the platform above it. And you're like, Are you fucking... <laughs> I can see the item underneath the half-over-the-ledge demon. He's gonna crush me. And he's like, yeah, but you could go you could go grab it. I can't. I'm not... You're so big, and you you have a huge dick. I bet so you could handle it. You got muscles? Yeah, he's like, ooh, so strong. <laughs> and then you... Of course it fucking falls off and starts spitting fire at you. <laughs> like, and then he shows up in the fourth place, I think it is, and he kicks you off of a ledge into a spike pit. Damn. And there's a samurai down there who's like, that motherfucker kick you off the goddamn pit too? Son of a bitch. We got to find a way up there and kill him. <laughs> that dude lives by better you than him. Absolutely. <laughs> every single game he kicks you. It's the same animation for every kick off the ledge too. Oh, yeah? Like they nice. know. They know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't wait for fucking Demon Souls. <clears throat> I, think, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, no. I've got a couple things I wanted to talk about this week. Actually, shit. What is Sucker Punch making right now? <sighs> Nothing. Sadness. I don't think they're actually making anything right now. What was their last game? Uh, it's Ghost. Ghost they're currently working on. Yeah, so after uh, that, I don't know. Maybe a new uh, Sly. Hopefully. If fucking Ratchet's coming out, they might be yeah. like, yo, wait a minute. Dude, I'd be down. We'd have to play that for channel. Yo. We'd go one, five, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Game Gear Micro got announced two weeks ago. Fuck that thing. Yeah, is that a joke? No, it's real. I wish it was a joke, because that thing's fucking stupid. <laughs> Who it, would... It's gonna have like four games on it, and each of the colors have four different games, hmm. but each one has a, each one has a different Sonic game apparently. What were they thinking? Uh, the the, they weren't. <laughs> they weren't. The only game that I want that I would actually buy, like one of them for, is the Batman game were because any, I never beat it as a kid. Were any of those classic machines ever like ten out of ten? I don't mm, think so. No. Well, they could never be, you know? Because, like... Eh, I mean, if they wanted it to be, sure. Well, but here's the thing. is like, it, 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 you're limited on games. Not yeah. everyone's going to be happy. Right. You know, for everybody that wants an F-Zero, mm-hmm. you know, or, like, a person's going to want Breath of Fire, there's going to be somebody who wanted Streets of Rage. Sure. Or Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That's that fair. was mine, you know? Like, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, SNES, I'm going to get Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I knew I wasn't going to get Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <laughs> That's Come fair. on. That's a fair point. Um, I, uh, I don't know if either of you saw this, but Dead Island Two leaked. Oh yeah, the 2015 build, the so one... people could play. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the guy running. Yeah, 
And it's like it's super colorful, looks like Dead Island. And it's like just way more colorful than Dead Island 1. Well, and what like, are characters? Uh, th- th- there was only one. Just and guy. there's a, a bunch of like placeholder assets. Because it was like a leaked build of the 2015 version. Oh, wow. Yeah. And like a person on Twitter was like, I can confirm this is real. I'm really glad this actually got like leaked out there because I'm glad people can see what we tried to do. Mm. And it's like, oh, cool. I wish more game companies would do that. Yeah. For obviously reason, obvious reasons they can't. But right. It'd be red. Just to eh, leak it out a little bit. You know, yeah. Just, <laughs> you know, give me Mega Man Legends 3 demo. Uh, that's all I'm <laughs> um, so Shaman King is getting the the they're making a new anime for it really yeah and if it's apparently going to be like full metal alchemist brotherhood Ooh. so it's going to be huh. a bit more adult like the actual manga and it's actually going to follow the manga to a t interesting unlike the four kids one did you know where it was like Meow. i think i've only read maybe a volume of shaman king dude that i was middle school so i don't remember shit i loved shaman king as a kid i bought all the games i had the ps2 game which was like a, a, a <laughs> It's like a Final Fantasy Tactics, mm-hmm. but then when you attacked a unit, you got into a side-scrolling fighter. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so, like, rare. if you were a good player, a weaker unit could totally blitz a boss because you're just Shit. better at fighting games. Wow. It's super cool. Yeah, I remember Shaman King. I watched the, like, four kids. Mm-hmm. Fox Box, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Fox Box, baby. Hell yeah. Just, oh, Shaman oh, King, then TMNT, then... <laughs> I, I watched every episode. I remember I liked the snor- snowboard kid, yep. even though he's a traitor. Horo Horo? He wasn't a traitor. The Lyserg was. Or the the other kid? Yeah, the the dowsing rod kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's a traitor. Yeah, he's a traitor. And uh, there's a great scene where he fights a vampire, and the vampire's like, oh, "I will suck this girl's virgin blood." And she suck. He's the vampire sucks Lyserg's neck, and they're all like, oh, "That's a guy." And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and, "But uh, he's hilarious. so pretty." <laughs> I like I like the uh, the black guy. Chocolo, even though his character with the lips were terrible, but it's not the most racist because they could have made the lips red. His name is Chocolo. Choco Love. Choco. And I remember him being, he's actually like an interesting character because like he actually had development. Yeah, and he had a super cool backstory because he was like he was a kid that was forced into a gang and he became the head of that gang Shit. because of his shaman powers. And then a deal went bad. He killed someone he didn't want to. And he's like, I got to fucking get out of this. I don't even remember. He, he murdered somebody? He murdered the parent of the two little kids that have the golem. Are we sure four kids didn't make that something different? They made it something different. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't remember murder. And then those kids <laughs> kill Choco Love because they're like, you killed our dad. And he's like, do me in. And everyone's like, don't let them kill you, Chocolove. And he's like, I killed their dad. Yeah, retribution. Yeah, he's like, this is what I deserve. This is what I've been looking for. Finish me. Hopefully, and it's like, they, hopefully they draw yeah. that character better. Eh, I don't know. Do you remember Chocolove, Noah? I'll no, up I, I barely remember what the main character looks like. Yo, Asakura? Yeah. Yo, Asakura, Yo look dude. good. He had, was those headphones on his, hair, on his head? Yeah. He had headphones for no reason. And he had the classic like samurai ghost person. His girlfriend had a scarf. Amitamaru. Yeah. So Did he you... kill him when he was a kid? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I can see why four kids changed it then. But, like, his power is dope. What is it? it? He's, like, he's basically Black Panther, but I think it's a jaguar. Oh, So yeah. he gets jaguar aspects. That's sick. Um, all you, and you don't, all you got to do is change the lips. You don't got to, like, do anything more. Yeah. Just, like, make the lips better. Yeah, for sure. Just give him normal lips. That's literally all you gotta do. It's one line. And there's him <laughs> as a kid murdering the dude. He's got a big fucking scar on his. I can't see. Like, it's just black forehead. and white right here, but I'll check it out. That's fair. Sh- pull up the trader. I want to see what the trader looks like. Oh yeah, Lyser. Yeah, you said he has a dowsing rod. Yeah, it's like a gem on a, a, a coin. Oh. Yeah, I remember his design. I remember I loved his design. Cause he's just like a fucking Sherlock Holmes yeah. fuckboy. <laughs> And yeah. then he gets, like, one of the god spirits and goes ape shit. There's mm-hmm. one bad thing, and I'm going to ruin it for everybody. It has really bad power creep at the end of the series <laughs> because everybody dies multiple times because they're like, how do you make a shaman stronger? Well, they have to touch the spirit world. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? You kill them. So they would get killed, and then somebody with the power of resurrection would bring them back, and it'd be, like, a huge boost to their it powers like it get boring after a while though it happens to literally every main character yeah. once and you're like mm, 
come, come on. It kind of removes on. stakes too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's anime. <laughs> uh, but the nice thing is that like when the final battle takes place, the dude's like, okay, cool. Here, you can take my spirit because I win. Because they straight up forfeit. They're like, we know we can't beat you in a straight fight right now. We, we forfeit. And the bad main guys. dudes. Yeah, the bad, the bad guy's like, okay, cool. I win. Now I just have to go become the shaman king. But I, you're smart. I have to let go of my spirit of fire because I have to get this new spirit. Mm. So you have some time between whatever. And he's like, hey, yo. Here's the fire. Here's the spirit of fire. Boom, and he hands it to him. So Yo gets the Shit. spirit of fire, and they're like, "All right, let's rock and roll. Like we got, we got twenty minutes. <laughs> like we gotta get him." It's so interesting to bring about Shaman King. Shaman King is yeah. He's he's been putting out new chapters of like what? weird like side stories of when Yo was a kid huh. for the past like two years. Mm. They're kind of cool too, but like yeah, super weird that they're bringing back fucking Shaman King. <laughs> For some reason, I imagine him like just not wanting to let it die. It's like, bro, that was twenty years ago. Just let it die. He's like, no, this is the only thing I created that I liked. Hell yeah, though, dude. Horror, horror. Yeah. Snowboarder. He looks dope. Uh, he gets and everyone gets like direct upgrades to their powers too. Like it's so good. Bruce Lee, the 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 sister of the the spiky haired spear user, has literally Bruce Lee as her like summoned spirit. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. the 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 Sasuke. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Fuck! I love all of his outfits. Because <clears throat> he comes he comes around. He he helps him out after. There you go. That's a bigger image. Oh, is he of bald? It. I see. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Of course, he's bald. Okay. Why they do the lips like that? Why do Jeff? <sighs> As much as I hate to say it, they don't know any better, man. They do. All they have to do is look at that picture. They know who the fuck Michael Jordan is. I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, but they I mean, they, look they at see... Afro Samurai. Well, that might... Is that That's... Japanese? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That could be... I thought that was an English thing. Yeah. I'm I thought sure that was an American, American made. I'll look it up. It, 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 there's no excuse. <laughs> it you don't have to look it up, Noah, because there's no excuse. They know, they know who the fuck Michael Jordan is. They've seen a picture of somebody black. Yes. Do they? He's the most famous athlete in the world. Yeah, and? They know who the fuck Michael Jordan is. Did they? Back then? When Did it, they? When was the shit made? 90s? Yeah. Did he? Yes. Did he? Yes. Did he? I'll bet my life on it, James. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, mm, I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson was a producer on the yep. Afro Samurai Resurrection. I didn't know that. The director was Japanese. Studio Gonzo. He does look a lot better when he's an adult, though. I can't really. Yeah, I mean, he's just say. he's yeah. just wearing a fucking hat. It's Japanese. Oh, weird. Unless the written by Takashi Tauren, that's Kozaki. the kid's name. Yeah, no, Afro Samurai is Japanese. So they have no excuse. Yep. <laughs> I think Afro Samurai looks amazing. I love it. I'm I'm fucking I'm a little kid watching this, so I'm just like, it's a black character. Wow. <laughs> Same thing with fucking Mr. Popo. <laughs> you know, like, is he like actually a human? Popo? Popo? Yeah. I don't think so. No, he's an okay. alien. Well, like clearly, he's racist. It's, alien. <laughs> yeah, he's clearly yeah. it's racist. But. <laughs> Toriyama just got away with it. Well, to be fair though, he did have before Mr. Popo showed up. I think he did have a different black man who was brown, but still had the bad lips. Yeah, in Red Ribbon Army, right? Yeah, he's yeah. the general. Yeah. yeah, was that in Dragon Ball? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably why there's no fucking it. excuse, James. I, I, I know you want to give him excuses, but there's no fucking excuse. You look up Afro. There he is. Mm -hmm. uh. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's a caricature. I should watch Afro Samurai again. The game was I hella fun. Watch Afro Samurai, period. Oh, you haven't? Mm. You haven't really Sick, Samurai? dude. I've, I've seen th two episodes. But then I never watched the rest of it. I didn't have anybody. Darius, I was white and in Michigan, man. <laughs> I had Spike TV, and that was the only chance I had Shit, to watch it. I was it. white and in Wisconsin, man. Yeah, We're but literally you had connected. friends. <laughs> oh, please. Don't give me that. <laughs> Fuck you. You, all, all, you, you, talk, you talk to me about your Michigan friends all the time. Yeah, I name one. That guy... Mm -hmm. Whose parents were musicians, and they had that girl on the... Janis Joplin? Yeah. Yep, okay, that's one. Yeah, he that's nailed one. it. <laughs> he, 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 I, I, dude, 
I'm not gonna move this. Apart. I'm not gonna move this goalpost. I said name one, and he technically didn't. Yeah. But I'm gonna give it to him. Well, you know that was a trick question because you know I'm bad with names. He's exactly. I, I was gonna win that no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I could have told him yesterday, and he still wouldn't. Have yeah, said I would. I would. I would just guess and be like, uh, random white name Eddie. You know, just <laughs> spurred out. Didn't know an Eddie. Did not know an Eddie. <laughs> but yeah. So Shaman King. Um, hype. Yeah, hype I'll, I'm fuck. definitely down to watch it. I know. I'll basically watch it. nothing i'll watch it with you all right the, the only thing that sucks is manta which is the short fucking loser kid who doesn't have shaman powers yeah yeah big head big yeah head. big head yeah. big head short body for no reason yeah. when the time skip happens and they're adults at the end of the series he's not taller and it pissed me off because i wanted him to not look like a fucking freak and he looks like a fucking freak like he just glows up into like this perfect yeah adult. i wanted him to be an adonis <laughs> yeah. and they're just like no you're still short i think they gave him a mustache that's lame uh, the last thing I had is I just wanted to talk about my horrible experience. Uh, I got a tetanus shot booster, and that shit fucked me up Yes, uh, two days ago. So I got it, and the day I got it, it was fine. But yesterday, I woke up, and I started playing some games at around noon, and then I got the chills, and I had to turn my AC off. And then I put a track jacket on, and I'm like, what the fuck's happening to me? <laughs> and so, like, I was like, hey, Dan, I got to go. I can't, I can't be playing games, man. So I went and, like, took a nap. And when Trish got home, she's like, how you doing? Bad. So I went and took a bath. And then at 7 o'clock, I went to go pet my cat. And I just fell asleep. While petting her? While petting her. And, like, Trisha left to go take a walk at, like, 7. At 7.40, she got back, and I was in the bedroom. And then apparently, at 8.30, I walk out of the fucking bedroom. And Trisha's, like, in the kitchen. And I'm, she's like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, bad. She's like, I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? She's making <laughs> making food. I'm like, okay. And I take my glasses off, put it on the counter, and go back into the bedroom and go back to sleep. <laughs> and she was like, you know in like an 80s movie where like the person just had a rough night and their hair is all like crazy and they like shuffle out kind of like, oh man, what did I do last night? Yeah. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning and I had no memory of that one at all. So when mm. I woke up at 8.30, I, I didn't, didn't know. I honestly didn't even know that you needed a tetanus shot booster. Yeah, every uh, 10 years, apparently. So I might need one soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably need one. So, uh, yeah. yeah. it uh, It's pretty red and swollen still. How big was the needle? Not. <laughs> not at all. Because I got a Hep A one for traveling on this arm, and there's nothing. Weird. So I looked up the like things, you and I have every my side effects. Yeah, I had every minor side effect and a few of the moderate side effects. So your body just didn't react well. Yeah, to my it body at all. was just like <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> and like I was reading it, and it's like this will happen in like four out of ten. This will happen in one out of ten. This will happen in one to three out of a hundred. And I'm like, why do what, man? <laughs> like I got fucked, and there was nothing I could do about it because I was just fucked. So that was fun. Great. Cool. Shit, that's uh, that's that's my shit. Y'all got anything else to talk about? No, I could talk about Valorant for another three hours. But... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I got high last week. That was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I told no to buy me the edible, right? <laughs> no, like yeah. he he clearly explained the rules to me. I said like twenty <laughs> times to this man. You're going to want to take an eighth of this. <laughs> Honestly, it was kind of my problem because the edible came in like a package and it's one piece, kind of like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. So you kind of had to cut it up because you don't want to take 100 mi- fucking milligrams of THC. Yeah. You'll die if you don't have any tolerance. <laughs> and I'm like, you want to take an eighth. So cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half, and take one. And he takes a fucking fourth of it. Looks like a fourth. <laughs> <laughs> and I can confirm this happened at my house. The Dar- Darius getting it. And Noah definitely said this four or five times easily. Yep. So, like, take a quarter. And then Darius was like, what if I take a, a half? And you were like, do take not an eight. take half. Your exact worst was you, you'll see God. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, we're, we're cutting it up and shit. And, like, I give the eighth to my girl. Mm. And, she, and I cut myself the fourth. She's like, you're going to take the fourth? I was like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm I got a bitch. Yeah, I got, I, my exact <laughs> words. Was, I knew it. My exact words was like, I gotta show no, I'm not. I, yep. I ain't no bitch. 
<laughs> you gotta respect drugs, man. It's true. You don't have to respect your friends, but you need to respect the drugs. Oh my god! And uh, it was like you said, bro. Like yep. you, you're like for like the first forty five minutes, you're not gonna feel shit. Don't nope. take more. Yep. I, I was like, I don't feel shit. I'm like, I should take more. I was like, no, no, no. no I said not wait to. two hours yeah. <laughs> for sure before you even attempt to take more. So, so I'm sorry, continue. So at two forty seven last Saturday. I get a text from Darius. <laughs> I'm high. <laughs> question mark, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point, semicolon, comma, 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 six, semicolon, six, eight, end parenthesis, end parenthesis, dollar sign. I put a dollar sign? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you knew you put the rest in there? <laughs> and I'm like, hope you took an eighth. A fourth, eight exclamation points. Thumbs up emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, nice. Directions are for chumps. <laughs> and then I I am playing Valorant with Noah and Dan mm-hmm. at this point. And then I get a phone call. Immediately. <laughs> as, I, as I read that text off. And all I I'm hear so is. High. Yeah. <laughs> Noah just goes, hang on. Darius is calling me. And then we hear a one-sided conversation of, Bro. I explicitly told you <laughs> to take a, an ace. <laughs> I'm like, I knew you were going to be like, I'm too big of a man to take an ace. I'll take more. Uh. Yeah, dude. Like like you said, it, it took like 45 minutes. Yeah, man. edibles are weird. If you smoke it, it's five minutes tops and yeah. you'll feel it. But edibles can take up to an hour. Yeah, and um, I was like laying down or something. Mm. No, and I think I like, took a shower beforehand and then that shit just kicked it was like (laughs) my eyes were closed and like i felt the world slow down as they were closed (laughs) so it was like a video game drug trip (laughs) yeah dude i was uh, when i was with my girlfriend her face was turning into a bird (laughs) i've never hallucinated while taking an edible dude terry says zero tolerance why would you take a four? <laughs> I, I hallucinated that I had Corona. <laughs> really? Yeah. Bro. Dude, did it go bad? You told me it went well. It went well. It's, uh, I hallucinated I had Corona for just like like 30 minutes or sure. something. I yeah. was like in the bed with my girl. And she was, I was like, I got Corona. She's like, you don't have Corona. I, like, <laughs> I got Corona. I, I even hallucinated that I breathed weird. Mm. I was like, it's in my chest. I feel it. <laughs> so he'd be like... <laughs> See, I'm breathing weird. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it turned out it was gas. Because, <laughs> like, I literally, I was like, uh, it was in my chest. My chest was hurting. And then, and then I, like, spit up some mucus. Okay. And, like, I went to go spit my it out. My heart. <laughs> no, I went, to go, I went to go spit it out, right? And I was like, oh, my God, this mucus tastes like crazy this must be super corona it's mucus probably the cannabis in it yeah I, 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 I told myself i was like there's you high as fuck right now <laughs> you, you don't know what the fuck you're talking yep. about so uh yeah I, I, I let out a bit fart and she was like yeah you're not fuck. you don't have corona <laughs> and she she thought that she wasn't fucking in her own house oh really yeah. she got super fucked up yeah it, does she smoke regularly no she okay. wrapped herself in sheets like a mummy Okay, was- dude, <laughs> eating an edible, you're just kind of like in the zone and just like, ugh, I don't know, it's fun. It was hard to walk. <laughs> yeah, I could, I you couldn't took too much. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we we were in a shower, and I was like, "Hey, I can't wash myself. I need you to wash. I couldn't even wash myself, dude." <laughs> dude. Wait, you, never mind. I was like, you took a bath beforehand, and then you were taking a shower during. <laughs> It was, it was rough. It was Taking lost. a shower while high can be pretty fun. Yeah. It just feels different. It, it was weird, dude. And then I was like lotioning my body for like 30 minutes straight. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> it, it was fun. It was nice. And then after after I calmed the fuck down, I was able to cook. I, was okay. able to, I wanted to go outside. Yeah. She wouldn't. She would, She was not having it. She was sure. like, we should not go outside. We'll get lost. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just want to go smell the roses. <laughs> 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 but uh yeah it was fun man. I'm, I, I still have more so i'm probably gonna take an eighth this time we're probably, yeah take it <laughs> take, take an eighth do it again and just like you know other than this when was the last time you did stuff was it at uh 
the festival. Yeah. When I randomly smoked that, I, I only took like two puffs, and I was like, I felt like I was flying. Oh really? Yeah. It was that was not what's his name? Only? Eddie. Oh fuck! What the fuck was his name? Because he oh found this God. dude like two other times during the event. Really? It just happened to. They're like just a stranger. Yeah. Yeah. There were like what thirty thousand people at this event. And you ran into him twice. Yeah. <laughs> like. You guys got similar taste in music. Yeah, it was it was so weird, but um, yeah, I forgot his name, but yeah, I took like two puffs. It, it wasn't just weed; it was something. It was something. <laughs> put a else. little, put a little something in that. Yeah, he put something in that. Edibles uh, are different than smoking, though, yeah. significantly. Uh, it's ten times more powerful because it gets. I told you this. Yeah, through the liver. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was I was like feeling myself. I was thought I was flying. It was crazy. You should show Noah the picture of you, cause like. You are so smiley. <laughs> oh, my smile? Yeah, I don't know dude. if I still have it or not. Oh, if oh. you don't, that's fucked. I, I might well, shouldn't have it. you have it? Or did he just oh, show he, it to you? I think he just showed it to me. I'll, I'll double check real quick. I'll start sliding. I, I, I'll, 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 uh, yeah, I'll show later. you after, yeah, after yeah. the podcast. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, thank, thank you, Noah. And, yeah, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, we'll do it again. Maybe next time you'll actually come with instead of making me fetch yeah. your stuff. James, you want to get high? <laughs> nah, I'm probably good. But I'll watch yeah. you guys get high. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got to make sure I, that you don't have COVID, I have, don't I? <laughs> I have a pretty big tolerance, so I'd probably need a fourth. Yeah? Yeah. So now, now I need to be there so Darius doesn't try to up the ante and fucking... Yeah. Well, well, no, if you do a fourth, I'm going to do a fourth. That's so. what, exactly. You'll be way higher than me, so... Noah, what you have to do is you need to treat it like a like a dog. You need to take you need to eat a four like an eighth, and then yeah. he'll eat his eighth, and then you turn around Sneak and eat the, the other, other eighth. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that was that was a good experience. It was fun. It was nice, and um, it's fun. Yeah, dude, I that shit was, it was that was that was funner than drinking. Oh, I fucking hate drinking, dude. Yeah, like ah, getting high is so much. So it's so much more relaxing. You can get like inside your head if you do too much, but fuck, I don't know. Being a little tipsy is good, but. I mean, I, I, I was hallucinating and time. thought I had Corona, so I think I was inside my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might not take well to LSD then. <laughs> but I was I was, I was happy. Most, most of the, most of okay. the trip was just like... Yeah, if you take a four or an eighth, then I think it will be consistently more enjoyable. Yeah. But yeah, most, most of the time I was just like laughing. Yeah. To the point I was like looking at my girlfriend, like to the, I, I had to stop looking at her to stop laughing. <laughs> And I didn't even know why I was laughing. Yeah, he yeah. Was just happy. Well, you Dude. were laughing because you realized that you were a furry. You were like, <laughs> man, I really like bird girlfriend. <laughs> Dude, it, I, I, I couldn't, I could barely walk. That's how like fucking. Dude, you literally took too much. I, I, I remember, <laughs> I remember at one point I was on all fours, tried, tried to convince her cat to come here because I was like, I want to pet her fur. And her cat was not having it. She's like, you're too high, Darius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she said that very, to him. Yeah. <laughs> In a baritone, just, yeah. you're too high, Darius. <laughs> okay, like, I'll go back to the bed. <laughs> Darius is crawling on all fours. He went through every stage of his life in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> he shrinks down to the size of a baby. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good experience. Uh, you know, looking forward to do that again. It's fun. <laughs> Don't look at me just sip your fucking weird ass drink. Why are you drinking that shit? It's here. Is it good? It's not bad. It's grape flavored. Yeah. yeah. It it doesn't Yeah. You're the coward, it's all right? Not bad. Don't, don't fuck with me on this. Ah, uh, that's is that it? Or I, I think that's it. it. That's everything I wanted to fucking cover. Yeah. You good, Noah? I think I'm good. I think all I right. talked a lot. Oh yeah. You did. Question. Mm-hmm. You get to write your own first episode of your anime. When you wake up tomorrow, it starts. Okay. Give me give me a quick rundown of, of the plot of the first episode and how to, how it ends and what type of show is it. Okay, I need a little bit more context. So what do you mean by anime show? Is this like our own story or like physically in our world, this is our anime story? Or like, can we choose the genre so, so I can be like, physically. tomorrow I wake like, up. Do you mean like and an alien physically crashes? In, 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 Physically in our world, tomorrow you wake okay, up. Okay, so like and I'm starts. the protagonist of an anime. Story. You're protag. Okay. You're, you're yeah, you're protag. 
But can I be like, it's a battle manga. If my, my life is a battle anime now. The alien crashed into the fucking like, pond next to me, and I went out to the ship, and he's like, here's my suit. You're now basically Blue Beetle. And I go, Guyver! <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm in. Just, but you, you, give, me, give me just like, you know, two or three plots of like how, how, how the first episode goes. Yeah. Shit, so. You know? Who wants to go first? <sighs> you. You want me to go first? You have to. Okay. You gave us way too complex of a thing. Yeah, you had time to think about this, probably. (laughs) Uh, uh, I guess, is Pocket Monster considered anime? Yeah. Yeah. That's Japanese. Absolutely. It'll it'll be a Pocket Monster type of anime. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Uh, Critters now exist. (laughs) Not necessarily. Well, I mean, when I wake up tomorrow, uh, I'll probably find a uh cool looking tiny ish monster mm-hmm. who talks to me okay gonna be scared by it. Like, oh my god uh no we can talk to other people but is you know depends it, okay. on okay. so like, like meow i was like this is starting to sound like zatch bell a little bit you know yeah. like um and I, I find him what like in my closet or something and i freak the fuck out mm-hmm. um i try to call <laughs> the police <laughs> pest control <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a weird fucking rat in my closet <laughs> they 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 don't come because the they, cop goes you should have taken a fourth yeah, they they don't come because they think I'm fucking crazy or high <laughs> i i try to get the monster from to you know get away from me the monster tells me no we're partners now mm. it's your destiny to to you know be for us to be together and uh the episode ends with my arch nemesis AJ. <laughs> my, cousin, <laughs> my cousin, he comes with his own fucking fire, fire fucking monster, and attacks me. I, f- I find out that I can uh, help my monster fight with my emotions mm. and my power of mm. and our power of friendship. I dig it. That's fair. Yeah. I wouldn't read it. Well, fuck you. Damn. <laughs> God is this. <laughs> I don't even care uh, what you say. I want to read your fucking bullshit. <laughs> your your fucking uh, bullshit ass anime. Either. Anyway, that's fine. That's fine. Mm. You're next, James. Why am I next? Because I said, said shit so. on Darius. You, you should have spoken first and said I was next. Yeah, it's on you Fair. now. <sighs> Pass. <laughs> I might. I might just skip. <laughs> might just do like one of the stories. That I wanted to work on. Yeah, that's what I was on. thinking too. Yeah. What type of anime is it? It's not an anime. It's my own kind of story. Exactly, but you about. have to. What type? <clears throat> Supe Subina Man? I guess. <laughs> what would it be? Because it's kind of pocket monstery, but there's no collection aspect of it. Taibon? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the story that I've been like trying to not write, but just in the back of my head is like stuff that I can doodle and shit like that. It's called Taibon, which means little good. And it's based on uh, voodoo and the culture for it. And I don't know. It's interesting because voodoo is more about, uh, connecting your spiritual self with your physical self, as opposed to all like the mainstream media garbage that you see, like like shrunk heads, all that, like that's kind of part of it, but the spirituality of it's really interesting to me. And so you tell me all the, uh, everything I learned from Voodoo with Princess like, and the Frog is not true? It, more or less. <laughs> like, the rituals and stuff, that's kind of, like, true. But, like, I think just the way that they paint it is just, like, oh, these, like, aboriginal, like, weird people just, like, do rituals and summon spirits and shit like that. And that's not like, all of it. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. Disney's it's, all about mystic black people, yeah. so... <laughs> Let's take that with There's a grain more of to salt. it than just like <laughs> sticking a pin in a voodoo doll to hurt somebody, you know? And uh, the idea that I had behind it was that, and it's also a principle in voodoo, is uh, Metet, which is the master of the head. So there's Loa in the lore, and all of these Loa preside over different things like love, war, and carrying the dead over. And they're all separated into families like the Ezreal, the Freda. Petro, uh, the Gede. Yeah, which I didn't is, know any you know, of this. Yeah, <laughs> you're educating me. It's interesting, me. right? <laughs> yeah. I, I find it interesting. It's super interesting. But don't don't sell it short. <laughs> like so, it's awesome. Yeah, but uh, the master of the head is the spirit that 
basically is your personality so it's kind of like star signs and how like oh if you're born under this star then you you'll have these personality traits Mm -hmm. instead it's like if you have like a what the fuck is his name ogo is like the warriors so if you're like an ogo if if an ogo is like your metet you're kind of a leader you're a warrior you're that kind of person Mm -hmm. and each spirit kind of connects to that person and you can have different spirits with you but the one spirit that walks with you through your entire life is your met tet okay i see where you're going i see where you're going yeah so you can like call different spirits to like aid you and stuff but there's always that one spirit that's with you so like jojo like some stand shit pretty or like shaman king kind of where you pick your main one but you can use other spirits okay so the story that Persona. I had was that <laughs> Fuck off. the uh, main character would have their rite of passage to name their met tet and find out who it is so well, that they can well, no, live. It's you. Yeah, we'll I know. I know. Anime. So like, I guess I'll just talk to it like this. But so you go through your trial to find your met tet and in their culture, not actually in voodoo, but in my story their culture when they find their metet it's kind of who they are and they embrace it and they work towards that profession or type of job or personality traits and they just lean into it and it's who they so are so like a warrior metet would be like right an so like you'd be like you'd be a warrior you'd be like in line to be chief or something like that okay. that kind of thing well like if you had like a freda or israel then you'd be more of like a caretaker or something. Um, but in my story, the main character, I would do it, but the my metet would be somebody nobody's ever seen. He doesn't belong to a family, and you have to kind of find out who it is. And I think the biggest thing that I like about it is that in a culture where it's decided for you, and you know who you are because of your met tet. If you don't know who you are, then who are you? Ooh, okay. How would you know what you can do if you don't know what you can do? If that makes sense. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd hate to say it like this, but it would be if, like, you went to Hogwarts and the sorting hat right. went... I don't know what fucking house you belong yeah, to. Yeah, you don't then get a it's house. Like, how, where, where do you belong? Yeah. So it's like put them in the janitor's closet. I don't know. I was going to say dungeon, but it yeah. <laughs> works. But that's like the main themes, I guess, of my story. And the bad guy haven't really worked out. There's Bokor, which is, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, it's been a while since I've read the uh, definitions. But I believe the Bokor is a witch doctor who helps the Loa with both hands, meaning they can be good or evil. And they want to control the Loa and the Metets of people to, I don't know, subjugate, I guess. Nice. Just so it would be... Take the power. So, like, the ending would be uh, defeating him and then connecting with your spiritual self in a way that's sort of like, I know who I am now. I am this person. I don't know. I like it. It's cool. Good. I would read that one. <laughs> 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 I mean, I've had more time to think about this story. <laughs> Fuck this. It's <laughs> a bad question. I'm going to do a different question. Um, no, if that's the case, then I'll actually uh, steal the other bit. one. What? <laughs> steal the other one. Well, the one I was doing. The yeah. Story. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I <laughs> episode one would be I would be leaving the house or I'd walk through a doorway or it would be when I was asleep. And basically I would be told that I was a traveler. Um, which is the equivalency of, like, a planeswalker a little bit, so I could, like, work the planes. Um, But I would be taught that, like, there are, like, four different main planes, and they all have an agreement of, like, hey, we won't mess with this world, you know, like, you can do your thing, we won't cause war or anything. Um, So I would have to be trained to do that because certain people from each plane of existence travel to the other planes as like diplomats or merchants to be like, Hey, this plane has a whole lot of like ironworking goods and their science is really good. But the other place has a whole lot of like 
naturally growing food and other things because the other plane is kind of shot. So you kind of have to, you know, go through and be like, hey, I'm going to barter with you. Hey, don't do not do that war. That'll kind of shoot everything to shit. Don't be a little bit, you know, nicer about this. Um, and then by the end of the series, because the first episode is kind of like the beginning of learning the path and learning how to go through the different planes. Um, the end of it would be one of the planes walkers. Cause I, I whatever they're planes walkers. Um, <laughs> uh, please don't sue us. Yeah. Please don't sue us. <laughs> Wizards of the coast. Um, he realizes that the original Walker um, is the one who split the four planes into different planes. Cause it used to be one whole world that was fueled by war because no one could get along. And he came up and was like, Hey, I can make a bridge. I can use my technology to split the worlds so that everyone can have their own space. And we don't have to deal with all this war anymore. And the kingdoms like the Kings and the queen were all like, yeah, we're totally dope with that idea. Cause we don't want this violence going on, but we can't stop our people. <laughs> Cause like the, the hatred runs too deep. So he splits it and he disappeared and his disciples became the first walkers. Um, but the villain found a way to go into kind of like the interstice. So the, the realm between that planeswalkers use to go between. And he found the mechanism that would fuse the worlds together. And he would basically be like, I'm going to rule everything. And since I fused it all together, I'll basically be a God because I can run the machine that can tear apart the world. Um, so it would kind of lead into that's bad. Don't do that. And that's my anime. <laughs> I want to read that shit. Yeah, piece of shit. It's garbage. It's because he doesn't like good <laughs> writing. <laughs> Have fun with your Pikachu. To be fair, I thought Pikachu you were makes more about- money than any other <laughs> fucking anime. <laughs> Fuck you. I thought you were gonna pick uh, Bean Supasu Man. Oh, Bean Supasu Man. Yeah. Nah, nah. I figure I'll get my book idea out there. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how I'd walk into the world of beans. Yeah. <laughs> what would I do? Look down and I'm fava? Like... <laughs> no, they just beam you up and you have to try and find Earth with nah, them. Nah, dude, they'd beam me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, in the comments, uh, please hit us up with what your anime would be in your pilot episode. Uh, yeah, just give us the type of anime. Uh, give us just like a few Short plot points. You don't got to go into a whole like yeah, fucking dissertation. Yeah, like just no give it a few did. plot points and, and how the anime would end. The the uh, the cliffhanger or the the hook yep. for the ending and Vino Burrito we better see that comment on what your animorph would be yeah dude we're watching yeah don't be hell? a basic bitch like James yeah, <laughs> don't pick a squirrel like Squ- there is <laughs> squirrel's not a basic bitch answer okay it's a common animal here I guess. <laughs> yeah it's an incredibly common animal here <laughs> it's not the I'm not having this argument. because <laughs> he lost. Thank you for taking time every day to listen to us. Thank you so much. We're all beautiful people. We love you. And thank the you best. for listening. Bye. Uh, goodbye. Later. Basic bitch ass fucking hole. Yeah, whatever, squirrel girl. Squirrel girl.